You are now rocking with the hottest boxing podcast in the land. True Media Boxing Radio with your host, Coach Malachi Williams. True, true, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up, family? This is our boy, Coach Malachi Williams in the building. We back. Two Media Boston Radio. I had to turn the volume down on the other um, live feed. We back, we back, we back, man. Salute to everybody, man. Um, happy Sunday. I um, hope everybody is uh, pretty much relaxing. I know in the UK, it's um, it's 8 o'clock, so it's evening time in the UK. It's nighttime in the UK right now. I think there's a five-hour time difference from where I'm at on the East Coast, so it is what it is, man. Uh, um, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, what, shout out to Stephen X in the building. Shout out to my brother Yarmus, man. Brooklyn's in the house. North Carolina's in the house. Liverpool is in the house. Shout out to Dunk, Fr Dunk Flush. What's going on, fam? Um, yeah, man. Jason Phillips, salute to you. Shout out to Drumming for Life. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I see so far. Yeah, man. So, uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Tomato Can. <laughs> hey, bro, we saw a tomato. Hey, I saw a tomato, tomato can last night, bro. Bruh, man, I, I I don't I don't know, man. Top rank, man. <laughs> Boy, top rank had a they had this dude, they had this dude, bruh, bruh, man. Hey, I, I, as a matter of fact, I, I don't I don't even know the name who the, who the guy was, right? I don't even know who this guy was, man. They had a dude, man. This, this, this dude had on some spandex. He had on some like some some workout, so you know some stuff that you wear up under your shorts for working out. Um, he had looked like he had on some Nikes. Was it Nike shoes or Pro Kegs? He had something on, right? And I'm like, man, where they found this tomato can from? Like, like you know, normally, normally you see Golden Boy, you see Golden Boy doing something like Golden. Now Golden Boy, Golden Boy got the cans. And I'm like, you know, Top Rank known, Top Rank known for, Top Rank known for, you know, having some of the best matchmakers in the world. But man, god damn, bro, I'm talking about what they found that can can last night, boy. True. True, true. Man, hold on. Where, where the video at? I got it right here. I need to pull it up. Where the video at? Oh, I got it right here. Where the video at? Oh, this it right here. Boy, y'all hey, y'all need to. I don't know if y'all seen this one here. I don't listen. I don't know if y'all seen this one right here, man. I just, somebody, hey, I, you know, somebody sent me the highlight. I'm like, oh, hell no. I say, man, come on, man. This man, <laughs> this man had on some goddamn Nikes. This man had on some. Look, look, it, look, it looked like he had on some retro, retro Jordans, like the retro Jordans. I got, a, I got, a, I got a couple of them. I got a couple of them coming. I'm finna get me some retro Jordans myself, man. I like the retro. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Bruh, bruh, hold on. Let me let, hold on. Hey, shout out to Yamas. Hey, Yamas, let me pull it up. I don't know if you've seen it. Let me pull it up. Hold on. Boy, this right here, boy. Hey, I was like, hey, I kind of, man, I, I, I kind of feel sorry for the dude. I say, man, come on, man. Man, they got to do better than this. I know, listen, I know they're trying to build, I know they're trying to build the, um, the, the young dude up. I know they're trying to build him up, but come on, man. I know they're trying to build him up, but come on, man. Like, this, this is ridiculous. This is, I know, listen, hold on. I know they're trying to build him up, but come on, man. Ooh, nice two, three combination, and down goes Woodson. Man, what kind of shoes this dude got on? What is this? Can we zoom? I wonder, can I, I wonder, can I zoom in? Let me see, can I zoom in on it? 
Man, come on, man. Nah, I can't zoom in on it. Bro. Anyway. Ooh, nice two three combination, and down goes Woodson. Come to me. Yeah, Remember man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Woodson has a ton of heart. Yeah. He's got six kids. Hey, do you know? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's what pissed me off right there. He stood. That's what pissed me off right there. He done ran in the corner, stood on the ropes, crossing his arms and not, and bobbing his head up and down. Man, like, hey, hey, like he just knocked out a killer or something. True, true, <laughs> true. Hey, that's what pissed me off right there. Hey, listen, I hate to see a dude beat up on a tomato can and then they go to overreacting over the victory and they jump on the ropes. Adrian! Rocky! I love you, Adrian! I love you too, Rocky! Nigga jumping on the ropes like he beat Apollo Creed or he beat Clubber Lang or he beat Ivan Drago. Man, you beat, man, come, man, come on. Man, you beat a tomato can's tomato can. True, true, true. They said, they, listen, they said the man had six kids, man. They said the man had six kids. Man fat and out of shape. Man, listen, man, the man, come on, man. Bro, man, hey, listen, that's what pissed me off. That pissed me off more than anything. Dude, you knew this was a can's can before you stepped in the ring and you jumping on the ropes like you like you beat Godzilla or you beat Lion or, or you beat He-Man or Skeletor or Mumbra. Man, come on, man. Anyways. And luckily he's going to be able to go back home to them after this defeat against Ali Felice, who comes in at 20 what? years old. What? Gosh, looks impressive. What y'all look looks impressive? That man come yeah, he looks impressive. Man, come on, man. He come <laughs> what is shit right here? Bro, he, yeah, he and he looks impressive. Looks impressive where? The man fought a kid and then they named it did, did his name Ali. Come on, bro. True, true, true. But this bomb is taking the easy matches. Fight another bomb. This man fighting bombs and tomato cans. They holler and they holler about, yeah, man, you know, yeah, man, you know, it would impress a victory. Man, that shit went impressive. <laughs> But this ball is taking the easy matches. Fighting another ball. Man, that man, come on, man. What was the impressive about that? You got in there. You got in there. With, you got in there with a whole head cheese sandwich. You know. Come on, man. This man. This man went in shape. Man got six kids. The man clearly fighting. The man clearly fighting. Um, uh, fighting to put his kids in summer camp this month. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get the kids in summer camp, man. So you know, I don't know who probably. Well, it's out of the car, Moretti. Uh, well, Bruce. What is it? Car Moretti, Bruce Trampler. I don't know which one of y'all did it. Boy, look, look, boy, look like, boy, look like y'all was just walking down the street. Man, you know, we got this fight coming up with Ali, Ali Feliz, and we trying to find somebody for him to fight. Who it is? And it look like y'all was just at the, y'all was in Vegas. <laughs> they was in Vegas at the pub. And so, hey, hey, buddy, hey, come here. Yeah, man, what's up? Hey, man, um, um, you want, did you, have you ever boxed before? Yeah, I boxed a little bit back in, I boxed a little bit in Powell back, you know, back when I was a teenager, you know, back, you know, back, you know, back, back when I was in junior high school. Oh, and back in junior high school, huh? How many years, that, how many years ago that was? Oh, man, that, that, man, that was about 30 years ago, about 30 years ago. Okay, cool, check this out. Look, we got a fight coming up, but we, we need somebody, <laughs> we need, <laughs> we need somebody, we need some, we need an opponent. So look, we got a couple of dollars for you. You know what I mean? You know, get in the ring. You know, we got about $50. You know, uh, $50 for you. Will you be willing to get in the $50? Man, I got six kids, man. I got six kids I got to take care of. I'm on child support. I'm going to need no other 50 Okay, fuck it. We'll give you 100 And I tell you what, we got something on the back end for you. <laughs> we get you 100 Get you, get you, get you a whole head cheese sandwich, case of Corona, six pack of Miller Lite. You know what I mean? And we're going to call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> God damn that motherfucker, man. Oh, man, that shit right there, bro. Hey, he called him. Hold on. <laughs> this shit right here. This shit. <laughs> hey, hold on. Ooh, nice two. Hey, he called him. He called him with a. Hold on. <laughs> let me put this on slow motion. Let me put this on slow motion right quick. Now, hold, hold on, right. Let's see what's up. Oh, so he caught him with the right hook. Nice two, three combination. Man, come on, that man. This man got on. I don't know what kind of shoes and mills he got on, but they, you know, I thought they were Jordans, but them ain't no, them ain't no, them ain't no. I thought they were Nikes, but them ain't no Nikes. Goes Woodson. 
Man. Come on. Man getting up in slow motion. He watching in slow motion right now. Come to me. Yeah, man. Watching in slow motion right quick. I just want wait it all. Come on, man. That man went in shape. <laughs> that man went in shape, man. Man, come on. <laughs> oh, man. True, true, true. Man, they find that dude. Man, listen, man. They find that dude, that Chick fil A, man. That man was at Chick fil A. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, what car's right there? Man, y'all don't got this dude without a Chick fil A, man. Come on, man. Y'all don't got this dude out of, they don't got this dude out of the Chick fil A line. Y'all don't saw this dude with a Chick fil A get to get some, get some food for his kids. And y'all don't get <laughs> man, come on, man. Man, this don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> Chick-fil-A man and don't throw him in there. Get him in a hundred dollars. <laughs> man, man. Anyways, anyways, anyway. Hey, let, hold on. Let me let, let me read my opening um uh, my opening uh, monologue, man. Is Jerry is Jerry Anderson living up to the hype? Boy, I've been hearing some I did not I didn't see the Jerry Anderson fight, I didn't. Um, I've been hearing some serious criticism about this dude, man. And I'm gonna just tell you what I've been hearing, what I've been reading so far, right? Um, after Jerry Anderson's 12, 12 round unanimous decision over over Ryan Mary, Mary uh, over Ryan Mary, right? Uh, Boston fans feel to seen some type of way about what they saw last night. Some say that the fight was boring. Some say that Jared looked like he was uh, he was not interested in the fight. Everyone say that Jared fought a tomato can from Germany. Everyone, everyone, that everyone, everyone agreed on that. The dude he fought last night was a tomato can. Others say it's time for Jared Anderson to step up to the plate. It's time for him to step up. Because we've been hearing all this hype about him. He's the next great American heavyweight and all this stuff there. So it might be time for him to step up. You get what I'm saying? Um, now, you know, we do know what happened when he stepped up last time. But I will address that later on in the monologue. It appears that Top Rank is protecting Jared Anderson by giving him a steady diet of tomato cans to pick from. True, true, true. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying that. I mean, that, 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 that's what it seemed like. But you could call me the can man because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. Yes, sir. He said, I, you, you, you get what I'm saying? So, so it is what it is. It is what it is. I even heard, I even heard retired fighters and, and boxing analysts rave at how special Big Baby Anderson is as a fighter. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Yeah, they've they, they been raving about him. They said he never gave you niggas money. Yeah, get what I'm saying? And you saying all that to say what? They, 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 they say, they say he's supposed to be the next, the, the next great heavyweight. Nigga, please. That's what I've been hearing now. And you saying all that to say what? That, that, that's, that's all I'm saying. The fuck? Now, anyways, defensively, Jared Anderson hasn't learned anything from what I've been hearing. I saw a few highlights, but, uh, you know, the highlights don't tell you the story in the fight. But uh, from what I've been hearing, and I was listening to someone and uh, do a live show, one of the content creators, and one of the guys who I really respect, True Sports TV, he kind of broke it down a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, defensively, he hasn't learned anything from what I've been hearing from that fight. What fight? You know what I mean? We gonna, I'm going to tell you in a minute. Uh, Big Baby still pulls his head straight back when he's trying to get out of harm's way or avoid punches. You get what I'm saying? That's how he almost got knocked out by Charles Martin. Remember, he kept putting his head straight back with Charles Martin, and Charles Martin kept tagging him with that straight nail. Bah! And every time dog when Charles Martin was touching him, it was a couple of times he almost got knocked out. Charles Martin always seemed to hurt him towards the end of rounds. You get what I'm saying? Um, almost knocked this dude out. And then when I looked at that fight again, I said Charles Martin carried this dude. Because he knew he wasn't supposed to knock him out. Wasn't supposed to really hurt him. It was times in that fight where Charles Martin had Jared Anderson really hurt. And uh, Jared Anderson did, I think he scored a knockdown. But after that, Charles Martin got up and went to put hands and foots on this boy. And it was times in that fight when it looked like Charles Martin kind of pulled back. Like, okay, I, I'm, I'm not supposed to upset the apple cart. You, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I say, man, come on, man. Charles Martin, you could have got this dude out of there. You get what I'm saying? So he got a lot he needs to work on defensively. Mentally, the guy doesn't seem to be there. 
He doesn't seem he wants to be there anymore. And I'm going off of what he said to Roy Jones. We saw him crying on his mother. We saw him crying on Roy Jones. He really doesn't want to be there. I think it's obvious. And boxing is the type of sport, if your heart ain't in it, you know what I mean, then you got to leave. You know what I mean? You know, If your heart ain't in it, y'all remember the song about, um, about Lenny Star? If your heart isn't in it, you know what I mean? Why don't you tell me so? Well, he's telling me so. You get what I'm saying? He's saying, man, who know, man, I don't want to do this boxing stuff no more, man. And, I got some other stuff I want to do. All right, but nigga, just retire. Like, if you, if, if you, listen, if you don't want to do the boxing stuff no more, you got some other stuff you want to do, and you crying on Roy Jones, you crying on your mama, then just retire then. Just go ahead and retire. You know what I mean? Retire. Uh, Amazon is hiring. You know, maybe you can go to college and get a degree in IT. Uh, let's see. Uh, what, what else are you? Um, I hear, I hear in California, the minimum wage went up to twenty dollars an hour for McDonald's workers. You could always get a job in Cali at, at, at McDonald's for twenty dollars an hour. You know what I mean? If that's, you know, if, if that's what you want to do. But if you don't want to boss no more, then just get out the way. Do you get what I'm saying? True, true, true. Shit, that's, you know, that's all I'm saying. Shit, you know. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Brandon, Brandon, shout out to Brandon Man of Two Sports TV. Even said that Anderson versus Mary was top five, one of the worst fights he's seen, he's ever seen. Now, this is what the brother say from True Sports TV. He said, man, th th this performance was terrible. And everything I saw on Twitter, everything I've been looking at on social media, man, a lot of people saying the same thing. They say, man, that fight was trash. Now, again, I got to go back and see it and judge it for myself. But, man, I, you know, it is what it is, man. As for me, Jared Anderson, in my opinion, he is not the guy that I thought he was. I'm going to be honest with you. I was high on this guy at first. I thought he was going to be the next whole head cheese. I thought he was going to be the next Pope Chop Willie. I thought he was going to be the next Shawty Big Nuts. I thought he was going to be the next doggone, um, a dog on um, uh, uh, Chico Stick. I thought he was going to be all of that, right? I thought he was going to be the next Hobo Sam. But guess what? I guess I guess I was wrong. You know, we're going to have to we gonna have to try to find some more heavyweights out of America to see what we can do. You get what I'm saying? True, true, true. It is what it is, man. The American uh, boxing scene, the heavyweight scene, the American heavyweight scene, you know, is still looking out for the next great heavyweight. We'll see. If fans would be interested in seeing Jared Anderson fight again, we'll see. Um, heavyweight F.A. Jabba and Guido Villanello. Y'all know who Guido is. Guido was the undefeated fighter from Italy. I think he was 12 and 0 or something of that sort. And, but he ran up on my dog, Johnny Rice. Johnny Rice put them paws on him, split him, cut him. You get what I'm saying? And the fight had to be stopped because of that one big right hand that Johnny Rice landed. And Johnny Rice ain't had a job since. True, true, true. Boy, they do him a dog. They do him a dog, Johnny Rice. They do him a dog, Johnny Rice dirty, man. Ever since he done went over there, he went to PBC, put, put, put hands and foots on Michael Coffey. Then, I, you know, got six figures. We know how that turned out. Then he went to top rank, got less than six figures to fight Guido, uh, Guido Marinelli, Marinello. And then Johnny Wright put hands and puts on him. And now Al uh, Heyman and the bar father, they blackballing my dog. True, true, <laughs> true. My dog Johnny Wright's being black, blackballed right now. He being black. They blackballing my dog, man. Let me give my dog a job. Anyways, we saw uh, this F.A. job by Guido and Guido Villanello delivered a, cloud, a crowd pleasing slug fest Saturday night, you know, at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, um, Texas. Um, you know, a job by, from what, from, what I, from what I've read, you know what I mean? He won a split decision victory. Three judges scored it. One judge scored it 96-94 twice for a jog bar, and the other judge scored it 94-96 for Villanello. So that was a close fight. Maybe they can run it back. We'll see. Some fans uh, felt that Guido did enough to win a split decision. Some fans felt that the judges got it right with their jog bar, and others felt that the fight should have been a draw. So that tells me, man, you know what? That was a really, really good fight, really close fight, you know, from what, from what, I, from what I've been seeing. So we'll see what's up. But everyone said that a jog bar versus Villanello fight was way better than the main event. <coughs> they said that fight was way better than doggone um, Big Baby, Big Baby and, um, and the other dude he fought. I, I, what the dude named Mary? Big Baby and Mary. Also, Abdullah Mason also scored a fourth round knockout of Ronald Ron, Ronald Ron, you know what I mean, in his second fight, um, in, in, uh, I think Abdullah Mason fought two months ago. So this is his second fight. Uh, he fought in February. I was in Vegas in February, and now he's fighting again. So, yeah, so that, that was two months ago. That was two months ago. That's good. So now that now he's now he's 13 and 0, some fans believe that Abdullah Mason is ready for the next level. Whatever that next level may be, we'll see. 
But boy, let me tell you something. That boy, that jitter boy got the goods, but we gonna, we'll know for sure if he have the goods once he step up in competition and start fighting better, better competition, then that's what we'll really know. So far, it looks good. I just say so far, it looks good. Y'all know I'm high on Abdullah Mason now. I, I love Abdullah Mason. Anyway, you know, what do you guys have to say about the top ranked fight card last night? Was it fire? Was it good? What did you, just tell me, what, what, what do y'all think about the fight card last night? Anyway, let's give everybody a round of applause. True, true. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, man, that one fight, that one fight had me 38 hot. I saw the highlights in that. I say, man, somebody sent me that, man, old tomato can. I say, man, call my man, call my ready. One of them dudes call my ready, Bruce Trappler. One of y'all, I don't know who it was, boy. Y'all don't find the dude from Chick-fil-A, threw him in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did it say? M uh, MB8813, what did it say, fam? You say, not gonna lie, coach. UFC probably had the best card of the year. Man, UFC, listen. UFC always have great fight cards, fam. UFC always have great fight cards, bruh. Like, they be, <laughs> Wookie Woo say hot, go hot garbage. No, garbage. G A B I T C H. Garbage. Uh, salute to you, fam. Some rap don't say um, UFC 300 was epic. Yeah, man. Yeah, I heard. I heard, bro. I heard, bro. I heard. I heard. If, if, you know what? If I, was, if I was home last night, if I was home last night, I probably would have went live, and I thought I would have bought the pay-per-view. We don't went live. We don't went live for, um, for, um, we don't went live for, um, UFC fights over here. We don't went live for, like, maybe three or four of them. They always fire. UFC, all, no, UFC always fire, coach. I mean, UFC always fire, fam. Always. Always. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just, it just the level of competition, the level of competition um, in the UFC from a fighting standpoint is better than the level of competition in boxing. Now, that, that's crazy because, you know, you know they say boxers make more money than UFC fighters. But the boxing, but the boxing is, you know, Especially when you're putting together these these pay-per-view cards. Especially when they're putting together these pay-per-view cards. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, uh, the boxing is, uh, there's no comparison. When it comes to the level of competition with fighters fighting each other, if you compare UFC level of competition in comparison to boxers level of competition, th there's no comparison. No comparison at all. You get what I'm saying? <coughs> He said, you are, he, said, he, he said UFC got fools tearing each other's throats out for peanuts. I mean, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I mean, they ain't, well, they're not making peanuts like $5 an hour. They're make, they making money. I mean, in comparison to boxing, they're not really, you know, uh, making what the boxers make. But it is what it is. You know, it's a level of competition. And um, that's their job. I mean, that's those fighters' job to um, worry about that. Me as a fan, me as a fan of comeback sports, it's, I'm, not, I'm not worried about, how much this fighter getting paid? How much that fighter getting paid? You know, I mean, I didn't, you know, I, I really don't, I really don't give a damn. The fighter, they fighting for a reason, so it is what it is. Shout out to all the no, shout out to all Yamas, uh, Yamas. He said in comparison to the top, top fighters only. Yeah, man, shit, the top fighters, shit, the top fighters, man, uh, yeah, they ain't really, man. It is what it is. So what you say, you say in the UK, we get USC for free. Okay, cool. Y'all get USC for free? Uh, he said UFC has actually has a lot of bad calls over the past year or so, but last night was insane. Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying like every time I see a UFC fight, I'm saying the ones that's on pay per view. I'm talking about the pay per view fights. That that's that's what I'm talking about specifically. UFC pay per view fights. So far from what I've seen, and I went live for like maybe three or four of them. They be fire. They be fire. I'm saying for the ones that I've seen. You know, I'm 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 only speaking from what I saw. When I went live, I did some um, live fights, live uh, fight. Punch. Hell, even bare knuckle. I even, I even did. I even went live for a bare knuckle, bare knuckle boxing. <clears throat> uh, Sabrina Lee say, Coach, if you can, please go watch the whole ticket, three hundred ticket. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Shit, uh, you know, shit, we can, <laughs> we can, motherfucking, uh, you get what I'm saying? He said, he said, UFC has a quota to meet for ESPN, so they can't all be bangers. Okay. Hey there, what there? Hey, so what y'all what y'all think about what y'all think about dog going on uh, Jared Miller though, Jared Anderson? What y'all think about Jared Anderson? 
Is he is, is Big Baby living up to the hype? He's from Ohio, so he's an Ohio player. Is he living up to the hype for you guys? What did you think about his performance last night? Because I see more people in the chat. I see more people in the chat uh, talking about UFC. I see more people in the chat talking about UFC. <laughs> Everybody in the chat talking about UFC. Hey, shout out to Yamas. He said, weather getting right. Right out here, coach. We good. Hey, look here. Hey, shout out to Yamas. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody seem to be talking about the UFC. <laughs> what about Big Baby? <clears throat> Y'all don't want to talk about Big Baby? You know what I mean? Big Baby. Hey, what is that? He said, I never believed the hype for him. I didn't watch the fight. UFC all day. Oh, man, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. J. Cass say, um, he, he said, Jared ain't no real Ohio player. He said, them Toledo fools all might, might as well be from Michigan. <laughs> man, come on. How, so how was the fight last night, though? Like, were y'all impressed? Did he <coughs> did he remind you of Lennox Lewis or did he did he remind you of uh Tyson or did he remind you of Holyfield? Like what did you did you see greatness last night from Jared Anderson? Set the wombo. He said the comments on Top Race Channel were trolling with the UFC comments being better. Brutal. He said he said Top Rank might think big baby, another Berlanger at this point. Hey man. He said if Jared don't want to fight. Why would I want to watch? I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, shout out to Clay Moran. He, he, what you say, fam? You say his performance didn't show he ready for top competition. It didn't completely discredit his potential. More so, we still need to see more. I mean, but at this point, like, you got to, you got to, you got to put him in there. See, hold on. Hey, 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 Clay Moore, check this out, fam. If I'm top rank, I'm looking at that fight he had with, 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 uh, with uh uh Charles Martin. I walk the earth like a god. Charles Martin, listen, bro, all jokes aside, Charles Martin almost knocked this dude out with seconds left in the twelfth round. Seconds left in the twelfth round, and he almost knocked him out again um early in the fight. Probably like probably like the seventh or eighth round or something like that, right? Because he kept putting his head straight back. Literally that's he kept putting his head straight back and getting hit with the straight left. Bap! You get what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, come on, man. DP say Anderson need better competition. Let me get to the Super Chats. I know we have Super Chats. We have four of them. Shout out to Henry Brown. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a bam, dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Chat received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. Henry Brown, what do you say, fam? You say top rank at UFC. I enjoyed the UFC KOs, but boxing was tactical. But boring, boring, man. He said maybe they need to deduct for holding and force the fighters to fight. Yeah, I mean, they, they're going to have to change the rules in boxing, some stuff. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe they can, you know what I mean, speed it up or whatever. I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. They don't have to change the rules. They just need to enforce their rules that they have. That's the thing, you know. Um, shout out to Henry Brown again. Hey, okay. He's dropping that quarter of a dub. He said to them goose grease dudes, they need to thank the most exalted human being named Al Hammond. <laughs> Six figures, baby, for beating tomato can. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, man. They say I, they say I will pay dudes. I'm gonna give you a million dollars to beat up the. Um, I'm gonna give you a million dollars to beat to beat this to beat this four rounder guy. The four round. This guy he ain't fought no more than four rounds. You know, you you don't fought twelve rounds six times. I'm gonna give you a million dollars to fight this dude. A million to fight him? Yeah, you get what I'm saying. They say I, 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 I will pay him for He will pay him, but then but then they were getting the rest of the money on the back end through installments. You know. You know, you know them, them, them um, recording. That's some recording industry contracts. When you get your royalty checks, you know uh, your royalty check come out. I think every quarter or something of that sort. You know what I mean? So uh, shout out to Raymond Moore. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said Big Baby put on a garbage performance last night when he was supposed to separate himself from the rest, and his opponent uh, was booty too. So the dude was trash, and um. Yeah, somebody was telling me that. They say the dude was trash. They say Big Baby was in there with a tomato can. They say he couldn't get him out of there, though. That's what I heard. I'm, I, it it sounds like I haven't missed anything. It sounds like I haven't missed anything. You know what I mean? Shout out to Raymond Moore. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said that fight was trash, straight garbage. He said that man's supposed to clown when you fighting at that level. That was born and his opponent was booty. Okay, all right, all right. All right. He was booty, huh? No diddy. <laughs> hey, he said he was booty, no diddy. Hey, I'm just saying, man. You get what I'm saying? Jared Anderson, so so is he is is he so what what, what we got to do? He said Abdullah Mason was the best fighter of the night. Okay, Abdullah Mason did his thing, huh? Pretty sure he did. 
I'm pretty sure I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did. Uh what you say, Ron? Ron J, you said you got a heavyweight in the chat who couldn't beat who couldn't beat that can. Well, who? Who the, what heavyweight we got in the chat? Yeah, man. I was, uh, uh, Pablo say big baby sucks. End of in the conversation. Uh MB813, he say coach, big baby made me turn off. He said he made me turn off the TV, my split screen, and go straight UFC. Oh, man. Bruh. Skulo said, Coach, Ring IQ turned the fight off and got off the line. <laughs> it was that bad? Oh, my God. It was that bad? Oh, man. Bruh. For real? He said, you got a heavyweight in the... Hey, bruh, look here, man. Look here. Bruh. Bruh, it was that bad? But I, th I thought he was a hey, DP said Mary. He said he, he said he said Mary threw the lowest number of punches in the heavyweight uh, fight in combat box history or something of that sort. Yeah, I heard he threw like a hundred and like a hundred and six, hundred and forty four punches, hundred and forty punches, something of that sort. You get what I'm saying? Claymore Rain said UFC was crazy though. See, that's what I'm saying though. Everybody, see, y'all keep talking about the UFC. So apparently, <laughs> no, man. Damn. Jerry, do it. Hey, Unlace say, I start watching in the eighth round. Oh my God, bro. Shout out to Food Revolution. Man, big baby. Man, this nigga here, man. He let the, hey, you know what? He let the whole hood down. He let the, he, listen, hey, hey, Food Revolution. Fool, hey, 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 sis. Hey, he let the whole hood down, man, with his hill, man. He let the whole hood down. I want to thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. <laughs> y'all hey, y'all know Jared Anderson beat that boy. He did this for the hood. Well, he from Toledo, Ohio. He from Toledo. Y'all know he beat that boy. Y'all know what it is. See, y'all hate him. See, I know what it is. I have a chat full of haters. Yo, you guys are hating on Jared Big Baby Anderson. Big Baby is what they call him, Big Baby. Y'all hating, y'all saw greatness last night. But because you don't know nothing about the sweet science of boxing, that you guys didn't even recognize that Jerry Big Baby Miller, Jerry Big Baby Anderson, he put on a doggone masterpiece. True, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, I gotta, I gotta, this, I'm through this, I gotta get up there and cap for him. I gotta cap for him. Y'all was seeing a masterpiece, and because y'all see, y'all didn't know what y'all were looking at. <laughs> yes, see, y'all didn't know what y'all were looking at. Hey, <laughs> Hey, 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 Mr. Ward, I remember, listen, I remember when I had Kid Austin, I remember when I had Kid Austin on the show, right? I had Nephew on the show, and Pop Schofield, Pop Schofield, you know Pop Schofield gonna take, Floyd Schofield Sr., Floyd Sr. gonna take over, like, you know how it is. You ask Kid Austin a question, and Floyd, go, and Floyd Sr. gonna be the one answering all the questions, right? So I said, fuck it, I'm, I'm about to interview him. But uh, the, the fight before last, not his last fight, but the, the the fight where he cut his face open, he um he headbutted him and the guy. He rushed in there, like he normally do, and the heads clashed, and he got he got his face cut open. That fight right there, when I was telling, well, I remember we interviewed him after the fight. I said, look, man, he kept leaping in, doing that lunging, leaping left hook all the time. He wasn't working behind the jab. He wasn't working behind the jab. I think that was it, right? Was that it? No, no. You know what? No, nah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. It was the fight to where Kid Austin, he had ripped the skin from the bottom of his feet. They, they said that they had tried some new shoes on, some new shoes that they got from one of their sponsors, and they didn't get a chance to uh, uh, break the shoe in. So he ripped the skin from the bottom of his feet, but he wasn't working behind the jab. He kept leaping, doing the leaping left hook. The same thing that he does right now, just leaping in there trying to get the guy out of there. And when I had him on the show, I was like, man, this, I, was, I, was, I was giving him the critique. And... Um, Pop was kind of like, you know, it's kind of like upset. Why would you say he's sleeping in and stuff like that? Like, you know, why he was like, why would you say that? You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, you were supposed to say that you saw, you saw him, you saw Kid Austin put on a master class. That was one of the greatest boxing performances you ever seen. That was he <laughs> that was like, I was like, what? I was like, 
on me. Hey, I don't know if y'all remember that. Hey, Food Revolution, what you hear that day when he said that? I was like, what? I was, I was, he was, I was, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, no, see, you ain't see what you thought you saw. What you saw. This is what you saw. And I'm like, no, I was like, no, man, he keep leaping in and lunging in and, you know, I, <laughs> the man, bro, that shit was, I was like, <laughs> hey, guess what? He was th he was th yeah, he was hot at me. He was hot at me too. He was like, yeah, man, I ain't. He was hot at me too, man. I was like, <laughs> I was like, that he really he really upset by this. <laughs> man, shout out to Floyd. Shout out to Pops go feel bad kid also, man. Salute to them, man. Hey, I'm gonna drop the phone. Let me drop the phone line. I was like, <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Now. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. Nah, you ain't see that. Who you gonna believe? Me or your eyes? <laughs> hey, Schoolo, remember the story I was telling about the preacher and the wife, right? One day, one day, the preacher, uh, the preacher came home. The preacher came home. Uh, the preacher was at home, you know, uh, sleeping with his mistress, right? Sleep, sleep, sleeping with the mistress at the church, right? He was, you know, and, and he left his wife at the church. So they pulled him, went to the house, went to the crib, did they thug dizzle before the wife came home, right? So what happened was the wife, the preacher's wife, came home from came home from church a little early, and she came in. She came in the house. When she came in the house, she heard some moaning and screaming and stuff. And then she kicked the room door in and looked in the room. She saw her husband, who was the preacher, sleeping with sleeping with one of the deacon's wives, uh, sleeping at sleeping with the deacon's wife. Uh, 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 you know, in the house. So she got married, started screaming, jumped on her husband back. Why he ain't got that no? Ah, oh, God damn it, God damn it! I can't believe you. You sleeping with her? You sleeping with her? So, so the girl, so the lady jumped up, tried to put her panties on and stuff like that. The, the preacher wife tried to fight her. The preacher had to get between them with nothing on. She just grabbed her clothes and ran out the house, right? So, so she arguing with the preacher. God damn it. She arguing with her. God damn it, I can't believe you cheated on me. I just got you caught. I saw you in the bed. I saw you in the bed with Clarita, Miss Clarita. Yada, 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 blah, this crazy. He said, baby, you ain't see me in the bed with Miss Clarita. You ain't see nothing. How you gonna tell me what I saw? I said, you ain't see nothing. We wasn't doing nothing. We were just role playing for a play or something. God damn it, you lying. I can't believe you can't see with nigga. She had nothing new. He said, who you gonna believe? Me or your eyes? True, true, <laughs> true. I know what I saw. I know what I saw now. I know what I saw. But he's telling me, no, you didn't see what you saw. This what you saw. You get what I'm saying? You, I was like, I was like, you know, I say, you know what, man? All right, man. All right, you know. <laughs> all right, man. All right. I get it. I get it. Hey, shout out to Mo Easy. I get it. Shout out to Mo Easy, man. And you get what I'm saying? I say, man. So what I'm telling y'all is this here. Even though I didn't see the fight. And, and again, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. Jared Anderson, Jared Miller, Jared Anderson, last night, Big Baby, Big Baby, you guys saw a master performance. Very similar to what Shakur did. When, when y'all remember when Shakur was running from Edward De Los Santos after the fight, he said, man, I don't know what y'all were talking about. Y'all saw me put on the boxing clinic. <laughs> True, true, true. <laughs> hey, Harvey. Hey, remember Shakur said that? Man, these dudes, they don't know nothing about boxing. Y'all don't know. He, no, he said, I, he, first he said, I, uh, you know, I wish to put on a better, uh, a better performance. I wish I would have put on a better performance. Next time I will put on a better performance. But as time went by, I started seeing him in other interviews. He would be interviewed by somebody. He said, man, I don't know what the fans talking about. I mean, you saw, you listen, you, you, you saw me put on the boxing clinic. I mean, I was hitting the dude. He couldn't hit me. <laughs> Y'all saw a boxing clinic. I said, oh, okay. Oh, so we so we ain't see a nigga running. Running, I wasn't running. What, what fight were y'all were looking at? We were looking at the same fight that you was in. Nigga, you was running. No, I wasn't running. Yes, she was. No, I wasn't. Yes, she was. No, I wasn't. Anyway, shout out to T5. He said, Dula Mason, go past the core tweet. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet some right now. What's up? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm tweeting I'm tweet right now. Yeah, what's happening, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting put on the tweet right now. I'm putting on the tweet fast right now. But I'm trying to tell you, boy. Boy, listen, I'm going to speed it on Twitter. I'm, uh, listen, I'm going to speed it on Twitter, boy. Can't nobody tweet faster than me. Why say check tweet hook? Why say check tweet hook? Not, not the check level, the check tweet hook. Boy, you see how I did that? Bam. See how I did that? Listen, listen, you see, hey, in, 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 in other news, in other news, y'all seen, y'all seen uh, Drake came back. Drake came back and dropped the diss track, dropped the diss track, dissing K Dot. This in um this in Metro booming, this in Dog on Kendrick Lamar, and this in Future. He came, Drake came back, you know what I mean? And then Rose, Free Ray Ricky, not not Free Ray Ricky Ross, but Ricky Ross down in Miami, the rapper Rick Ross. He came back within two hours after Drake diss uh, diss him. I think he diss him, Diddy. He diss K Dot. 
He did Metro Booming and he did uh, Future. Two hours after Drake dropped his diss track, Rose came back and he dropped his response to the diss. True, true, true. <laughs> Hey, hey, I just, I just, I just, listen, I just want, I just want to throw that out there. You get what I'm saying? I just want to throw that out there. Hey, and then on top of that, hold on, hold on. That ain't it. Not to be outdone. In the sport of boxing, Carissa Shields, she dropped the diss track and the video dissing Alicia Baumgartner. And then Ryan Garcia, he dropped the diss track, jogging, shooting the video, dissing Devin Haney. And then via Twitter, Ryan Garcia followed that up with dissing Terrence Crawford, called him a B-I-T-C-H, said he wanted to fight him. And then he followed that up with dissing Errol Spence, throwing him under the bus, saying he was high and all that stuff before the Terrence Crawford fight. True, true, true. So what we need to do with this here, since Ryan Garcia and Carissa Shields, they want to get their Drake on, I think Ryan Garcia and the Guote need to go in the studio and, uh, and, and put together a mixtape. They need to put together a mixtape, and then we're going to get Bud, we're going to get Devin Haney, and we're going to get, um, who else he this? Errol Spence. We're going to get Bud, Devin Haney, Errol Spence to go in the studio and drop, some, uh, and drop a reply diss track and drop a diss track replying back. To uh oh yeah, Felicia Alicia Bumgarner. We gotta get Alicia Bumgarner too. Alicia gotta come back with a diss track with a reply diss to uh Carissa Shields. We need dog on Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, and dog on um Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, and who else he this? And Devin Haney, they need to go in the studio and put together a mixtape to put together a diss track uh to Ryan Garcia. True, true, true. Sabrina Lee say Rick was me. Uh, Y'all say it was me. Wookie Wook say everybody know you, you, you was Latin. I'm um, in the bed with Diddy. Okay, I guess you're trying to say laying in the bed with Diddy. Uh he said that arrow shade for Ryan is messed up. Yeah, man. Shout out to Ron J. He say two tone had me weak listening to the listen to Shields. He took off the headphones. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know. Since everybody, since everybody dissing, uh, Food Revolution say Rose. He said that Rose was trash. <laughs> hey, Earl Harvey said, "What all this happened? Yeah, this was going on in the world of hip hop right now. Right now, we going to the studio. Uh, Danny Garcia got a rap album out. We do know that uh, Deontay Wilder he making Afro beats." He, he, he's singing the Afro beats right now in the studio. So we got that. We got that going on. Uh, we got Ryan Garcia. He making diss tracks. We got the quote shooting videos making diss tracks. So, you know, I think I think right now, I think right now with the rapping and the boxing, I think we can do something. True, true, yeah. true. I think right now with the rapping and the boxing, I think we can do something, fam. JC say boxing and music don't mix. Listen, I beg to differ. <laughs> hey, 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 JC, I beg to differ. I beg to differ, my brother. I beg to differ. Carissa Shields came out with some fire. That was on the level of ether. That was on the level of hit him up. You get what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia, you know, he dropping, he dropping hot lava. Ryan Garcia dropping hot lava. You get what I'm saying? Shoo, so, you know, Drake came back at K-Dot. You know, we we everybody waiting on what K Dot gonna do. Rose, Rose, I'll call her, hold on. Rose came back. Rose came back within two hours and dropped this diss track. See everybody diss, they dissing in rap, they dissing in boxing. We might as well just come together, man, and, and make it do what it do. Um, call her, what's your name? Where you call her from? Tony, how you doing, man? Tony from Chicago. Tony from the shy, talk to me. Yeah, uh, coach, I just want, you know, the, I think the problem, I always say, you know, I think the problem with a lot of these things, like um, Anderson, uh, you know, being interested in heavyweight boxing, I, I just needed the, um, after seeing the Martin fight, the fight against Charles Martin, I already made up my mind that this guy was no good. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I didn't get the hype. I saw the fight and I'm like, okay, this guy isn't any good. Because, with all the hype, why is it taking them like so much time with so many heavyweights that are like quality heavyweights? You can put him in with Chisora, you can put him in with White, Doy, Dubois. You're still going to get, um, I don't know, these garbage car drivers, these um, 
tomato can. I don't know where they <laughs> yeah. where they get these guys from. For real. And he doesn't look good. One, he doesn't look like he has a team. Two, it looks like he's he is in um he just depends on his power. He doesn't know how to, you know, really put things together. Yeah, if he gets, you know, if he if he gets somebody he's overmatched against, he'll beat the person. But you know, who do you see him beating? You see him even beating the other big baby. You see him beating and top rank. You know, the top rank are on a more serious note. Top rank, they have to get they they have to figure out what's going on with the heavyweight division. I'm Nigerian. And I'm going to tell you for free, FA Adagba is Nigerian, but he's crap too. You know? He's crap as well. They have to figure out what's going on in their heavyweight. Uh, I think the only quality person they have there is Sanchez. And uh, maybe the Torres boy looks good too, but apart from that, he's it, crap. It's just crap they have over there. All right. And they keep on, you know, yeah, they keep on, um, they keep on sheltering them. Just put them in against you so you know, you know that they're not good then you look for somebody else. Instead of just keeping them there, hoping they'll get better. They are not going to get better. Oh, yeah, I want to I I I say, I, 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 okay, well, shout out to Tony from Chicago. Salute, brother. Thank you for calling. No, yeah. no, no. What, you you want to say something? No, no, no. I want to I see, I want to see, uh, I want to see him fight, uh, him and F.A. Jogba fight each other. Yes, yeah. it's about time. It's, you know, okay, F.A. fought Sanchez and Sanchez put the hands on foot on him. Yeah. It's about time, you know, you, you need to step him up. Yeah. Then you know you know no when to call you know call it quits on your investment if he's not looking good mm -hmm. because I don't see him beating anybody I don't see you know I don't see him beating anybody from Jared Anderson um, Jared Miller upwards yeah. I don't see him beating any of those people so yeah coach all right man all right salute, take man. care man <laughs> damn he looked that bad. Hey, hey, what you, hey, what you say? Unlay said Torres will sleep, big baby. <laughs> no, nah, Unlay, see the shoes. No, man. No, no. Nah, Torres won't sleep, no big baby, man. No. No, you hold on now. Hold on. No, man. He, you know. <laughs> no, man. No, nah, nah, I ain't, ain't going to go that far now. I ain't going to go. <laughs> he said Torres. Hey, yo, listen. See, you know what? You know what, man? Y'all don't know nothing about it. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all saw a boxing clinic last night. Shout out to the lovely Miss Connie. Y'all saw a boxing clinic last night. And then, you know, you saw a boxing clinic. And you sitting there hating on Jared. You know, because you guys know he's the, you know, he's the, he's the, he's the great, well, you know, he's the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the new great hype. What they call him, the great white hype, the great black hype. Y'all know that. He's the one that's coming to save the heavyweight division for America. Jared Anderson, you know, he's the one that's coming to save the heavyweight division for America. Everybody know that. It is what it is. Y'all in the chat just hating. I didn't know he had to, that's what it is, y'all hating in there. You wanna talk some shit? Call me. Start some shit, bitch. Sup, fool? You gonna talk shit about me, homie? Where you from? Hundreds of niggas is waiting for your motherfucking call, and they all talking shit about you right now. Call the coach at 530-494-9636. We waiting on your bitch ass. Man, look here, man. Y'all sitting here, man. Come on, man. Y'all got to stop the hate. Hold on now, but you know, we started this show today. Today's Sunday. We have to say all praises due to the most high, the most exalted. The greatest human being on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and think Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. They got to, listen, they got to get my dog six-figure Johnny back in the ring, man. The man doing security with a flashlight, man. Um, call him, what's the name you call him from? Hold on, sorry about that. Oh, I got you right here. L from Kansas City, talk to me, fam. Yeah, no, Jared Anderson, I'm, I don't know what they're going to do with him because they tell me they want to do a fight for him back in Toledo, which is another homecoming fight. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, that's another soft touch. Yeah, that's good deal. I said, then we just had one last night. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not saying this to be funny. I literally fell asleep on two rounds. <laughs> and I woke up, and it was the seventh round. I said, damn, he's still doing the same thing. I don't see no bruises, no cuts, nothing. And then the part that really made me laugh is after the fight, they did a clip 
uh, of his dog, and they showed his dog. You know, that dog he was tearing around. His dog was yawning. I yeah. said, well, damn. I said, that's <laughs> an insult to him. Hey, the dog. Said, he is, said the dog was yawning. terrible. <laughs> Yeah, he no, they the really dog. did. They showed it. ESPN said, I forgot the dog's name, but they showed it in the back, and he was yawning. And I was like, well, damn. I said, I guess we all feel the same. Man, it was that bad? I, I, no, it really was. It, it was like, it started off, okay, so it was only a 10-round fight. So, which I, thought, I didn't like. I, I prefer when you're really trying to get your career going. I think at this point, he should be a 12-round fighter. <laughs> so, it was only 10 rounds. And they start off slow. I'm thinking, okay, just trying to get, you know, trying to get a feel for it, you know, to fill our round. And then I'm like, but the dude is much smaller, you know. Um, I mean, he's a big guy, but I mean, he's smaller. And I'm just like, all right, second round, like, all right, he still ain't doing much. I'm like, he's he trying to land the jab, but he pulled straight back. Like we all know, he pulled straight back. Yeah. So I think the dude actually hit him in like the third with something good. And I was like, okay, so maybe we're going to get a fight. And then it just, from what I saw, it looked like it just went more the same, where he just kept, you know, just jabbed and kind of throw a couple punches here. I don't know if it was scripted that way. I don't know. I mean, it was like a spar match. It was like a beginner's level spar match. Like, you know, like when these boxers be making these training videos to show you what to do? Yeah. That's what. It, that's like a good example of one. Like, okay, here's how you throw a jab. You see the guy blocked and just kind of fall around. It looks like a beginner, uh, beginner's class of spar match is what it looked like. Man, bro, like, come on. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Based on what happened with him in the Charles Martin fight, Charles Martin almost knocked this dude out a couple of times in that fight. He heard him. I remember yeah. he, he heard him in, like, the, the mid-rounds, and then he heard him with, like, 10 seconds left in the, in the 12th round. Like, like literally. You know, like, like I, he had him doing the stanky leg and everything. And he was saved by the bell. And Charles Martin, I remember when they hugged, and Charles Martin looked at him like, was looking at him, talking to him like, yeah, boy, I could have got you out of there. You get what I'm saying? So I think I think they so they probably took a step back. Say, look, man, we got to give give him a confidence booster. Put him in there with a tomato can, and I and I and he he couldn't he couldn't get him out of there. He couldn't get him out of there. It seemed that his that his heart isn't in it. So you know, you remember the song Atlantic Star? Um, if, if if your heart is isn't in it, you know, um, why won't you tell me so? Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if your heart isn't in it. Why are you in the ring? You get what I'm saying? So that, that's a weird I mean, it, <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's definitely like that because here's the thing. And you said he needed a confidence boost. He got one in August when he fought again. So to me, this should have been his get back. But I mean, I think, honestly, I think they really worried about his mental because, okay, he did the video with Roy. He's crying, telling me he don't want all this pressure. Okay. Cry, yeah. Understandable. Then he gets in stupid crying. Yeah. Not, I mean, that racing thing was just, just sounds dumb as hell. He came out in a racing outfit last night because he had the helmet on and the racing jacket on. Okay. Um, they said that he's having a baby soon. Uh, he's, I think he got a baby on the way in the next few months. Well, his name, but, is, I mean, his name if is he's Big Baby, soft, though. His name is Big Baby, so Big Baby is here. Yeah. yeah. Got a baby coming. It, it must be something to it because, I mean, he, he's been crying. He don't want the pressure, but he want to he wanna get this money. Yeah. But my thing is you, they can't. The money, if you want to retire, I mean, unless you're just a great investor, and he could be, and I don't know it, but, I mean, you're going to have to step up and fight some bigger fights. These little knickknacks on ESPN, <laughs> that's not going to get you what you say you want. Yeah. And it's, I don't know, dude, it's confusing, but they did like this little, you know how they do those little interview clips or whatever, mm -hmm. where he talked about he, he's funny, but he's angry, he, he's smart, but he's stupid or something. He's a, con he's a walking contradiction, basically what he's saying. I'm thinking, actually, it describes you pretty well because i don't know what you want in life yeah. i can't figure you out and your career is just i don't know it's just weird so right, i don't know that's that's all i got to say right, so he's, I, he's, he's off I, I don't trust him and he he's not the next great heavyweight i can assure you that hey, <laughs> hey man shout, hey man shout out to l from kansas city salute brother hey he said he's not the next great heavyweight hey man we gotta go back listen man listen listen they sleeping on my dog, six figure Johnny man. Hey, what they say? Uh, Miss Connor say Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley said the other guy came for a check. <laughs> the other guy came for a check. Man, come on, man. Hey, <laughs> hey what they say? Full Rep Blue say hopefully it ain't one of them IG models, cause he because he go ran through. Uh, with 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 this, with this little tender. Oh, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> 
<laughs> and she, boy, she a savage boy. And <laughs> she said, <laughs> hey, hey, these dudes, these dudes be looking at Instagram models. Yeah, boy, I, boy, I, found, boy, I found me a wife. Where you found that? Yeah, boy, boy I'm finna wife this one up, but it's a baddie right here. This a baddie. Let me tell you, dude, something. Any any woman that say she a baddie, leave her alone. Tell you right now. Any these dude, listen. Any women, man, with these goddamn the same ass eyelashes. I call, I call it the Instagram starter kit, right? The one, the, the, no, I call it the baddie starter kit. What's what's the baddie starter kit? All right, now we gotta get a whole bunch of makeup. Check. We gotta get a lace front wig. Check. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you want to wake up, make up in the lace front, ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't, I ain't tripping on none of that. But I'm, but I'm just trying to tell you, all the Instagram models look alike. All the Instagram, I just want to let y'all know that. All of them looking like, all of them got the BBLs, they got the, 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 the breast lifts, the blue jobs, they got the same, look like they got the same little lace front on, look like they got the same, you know, uh, eyelashes from Boquisha. Uh, all of them, you know, and when you see them, they in a, they in a fancy restaurant, taking pictures, living their best life, this and that, living La Vida Loca. And I'm like, wait a minute, man, hold on, man. <laughs> that, that's in the picture. That, that's in the picture now. That's in the picture. Mother would be like, yeah, boy, boy, I found me one, boy. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finna wife, I'm finna wife her up. I'm finna, I'm finna, you know, we, we, we finna get booed up. We finna get booed up like LMA. <laughs> Hey, this is it right here. Well, we finna get booed up. We finna, we finna get booed up like LMA. That's what we finna do. We finna, man, you know. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna take a hold of mama. Mama! Mama! Mama, I got me one. Boy, boy, who, who this is? Who this is? You know what I mean? What you do for, what you do for a living? Oh, I'm a, uh, I'm an influencer. You an influencer? Who you influencing? Yeah, um, I got an OnlyFans page. <laughs> they didn't be falling in love with only. They didn't be falling in love with OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I got me OnlyFans page. You know, I'm making six. <laughs> I got me OnlyFans. See, you know what I mean. I'm doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Making up bad love. They nigga did. They be complaining about the choices. Hey, shout out to James Bad. He said I passed out on the couch watching that fight. Salute, fam. Uh, shout out to Deal. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said it's duck season for me with Jared Anderson. He said pay me 200 mil to watch him and I don't need to hear or watch you crying on Roy Jones and he has to give you some sugar. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. That, that, I mean, that right there did kind of, I'm like, damn, what? That did kind of like make him look bad to be fair. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People as blades. Man, look, look here, man. I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who put the. I gotta talk to Carmen. Hey, Carl, look here, man. I don't know. You a Bruce Trampler, man. Look here, man. Boy, it was some, it was some tomato cans on there last night, man. I mean, you know what? I'm thinking this. Is what I'm gonna think. I'm thinking that was just a confidence booster fight. Confidence booster fight card. Um, probably, I mean, probably for 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 uh for uh Jer for for uh for Big Baby. Big Baby. He did. Now that I think about it. I think what they were doing was because of what he went through last time. You know, uh, Charles Martin. Charles Martin was was was, was putting hands and foots on him. So, and then I then then too. I don't know where they found this guy at. That's what I need to know. Where did y'all find this guy? <laughs> Hold on. What, 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 hey, what's his dude name? What's his dude name right here? Anybody know his name? I want to look him up on Box Red. What's his dude name right here, man? Matter of fact, okay. Hold on. Let me let me let me, let me see. Can I pull it up? We need to look this dude, we need to look that dude up on Box Rec. Hold on, let me see what's up. I'm finna pull him up right now. Let's see. Shout out to New Country, dropping out $2 Super Chat. He said, Coach, the Anderson fight was trash. I turned it off. Let's see what's up, man. Let's see, I, I want to see what's up. This dude, let's see. Anderson versus Mary. Undercard. Yeah, cause well, listen, cause see, see, if you can, if you gonna give him, if you gonna give him uh, a shot, they could have put, they could have put my dog Six Figure Johnny in there. I'm trying to get Six Figure Johnny a job, though. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to get Six Figure Johnny a job. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm biased when it comes to Six Figure Johnny. Let's see what's up. Who this other dude is? Vila, Ruben Vila, Adula Mason. Was that was that on the was that on the was that on the top rank card? Or was that on somebody else's card? 
What the dude name Ali? What the dude name Ali? I gotta look this dude up, man. I don't know what they found. I don't know what they found this dude at right here, bro. Boy, that dude right there, bro. I don't know where they found him at, boy. They said the man had six kids. You see, the man was nowhere near in shape. Yeah, I got you, but that boy, they better. Hey, but listen, we gotta get my dog Six Figure Johnny back in there, man. Shout out to Ali Muhammad, G Five, Wookie Woo. What's going on, fam? Sabrina Lee. Shout out to Troy Cobra. Hey, we gotta hey, listen. We gotta get my dog Six Figure Johnny back in there, man. Shout out to Bruce Gas in the building, man. Stephen X. We gotta get we we gotta get Six Figure Johnny back in there, man. We have to. I don't I don't know how we gonna do it, but we gotta do it. Six Figure Johnny. I think he's thirty seven years old now. I think he's thirty seven. He's 37 years old, maybe going on 37, going on 38. Right now, we got to get, we got to get Johnny Rice. Johnny Rice did say that he wanted to become a, a world champion. I'm like, man, Johnny Rice, you knew, you knew that was, you knew that was, a, uh, and I, and I, I got love for Johnny Rice, but Johnny Rice, you knew, you knew that wasn't going to happen when you said that shit. When you, I think when Johnny Rice came on the show, he 15 and 6 right now. It ain't no way in the hell you're going to become a world champion on, on, on any planet. You get what I'm saying? He can't because, I mean, that just, I mean, that's just impossible. That's just impossible, you know. Uh, he said even Google never AJ said even Google never heard of him. Like who the dude was? <laughs> Anybody know who this dude? He said they didn't even know him. They didn't even have his name. What the dude? Okay, what the dude name who? What the dude name was Ali? Let's see what's up. Anthony Woodson has a ton of. Oh, oh, Anthony Woodson. That's his name. Anthony Woodson. Let me look him up. Anthony Woodson. There you go. I found it. Yeah. Hard. He's got Anthony Woodson. Let me let's let's look him up right quick. Anthony Woodson. Let's go to Box Rec. See what's up with Anthony Woodson, man. Shit. Motherfucker right here, man. Man, I don't know where they found him, man, boy. God. Damn Ho Hobo Sam. Nigga, I said Hobo Sam would have did better than that. Let's see. Anthony. Anthony Woodson. Let's see what's up with that fight right there. Anthony Woodson. Heavyweight. They said Anthony Woodson. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me hear what his name is again. Six kids. Woodson has a ton of heart. He's got referee Lawrence Cole had seen enough. What? Anthony Woodson. Yeah, that's the name. He not even on box rank. Oh my God, brother. He's not even on box rank, fam. No, man. Hey, bro. Y'all, hey. Y'all think I'm joking, huh? Y'all think I'm joking. The brother, hold on. This is name. Anthony Woodson seen enough anthony woodson has a okay let's see is it anthony woodson or anthony wilson let's go to box rec let's go to box rec let me see is it anthony woodson or anthony wilson okay maybe it's wilson this man even ain't even on box rec nah that ain't it it's anthony woodson that ain't it. It's Anthony Woodson. Hold on. Anthony Woodson. Man, this man ain't okay. This man ain't even on box rank, man. Oh, here, oh, here you go right here. No, here you go right here. This is this this got to be him. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> no, man. Okay. All right, all right. All right. To be fair. All right. To be fair. This is be fair. This is uh, this is Ali Feliz. This is his first pro fight. So we got to, You know. You know what? I, I I can't I can't be tripping now. Both of these guys was on the same level. This is his first professional fight. He's six two, right? So now, okay. You know what? I know what. I, I now I get it now. I get it now. It was it was his first professional fight. His first one. So he was so he had a zero and zero record. Ali Feliz had a zero and zero record when he, when he stepped in the ring. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. And let's see. He had a and uh, uh Anthony Woodson had a one and one record. How old is he? he he's 6'2, 35 years, but he's 35 years old. <laughs> So, so <laughs> you know, <laughs> all right. So, so to be fair, 
me be fair. Be, to be fair to the brother. The young brother is 23 years old. He know he he has a long way to go. So it makes sense now. 20, no, no, as a matter of fact, no. He's 20 years old. The brother is 20 years old. And Anthony Woodson, this brother right here, this dude, this dude look like a caddy. <laughs> this look like a jail. This look like a, this look like a jail bomb. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a county jail bull shot. No, man. He was, this is like <laughs> <laughs> the county jail. Hey, they found somebody for the county jail, man. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, they look, hey, 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 they look like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. This look like, this dude like he from the county jail, man, look. No, man. This, man, come on, man. They got the county jail. Man, come on, brother. See, he from Gary, Indiana. Oh, he, oh, he, no, he from Chicago. He from Chicago. <laughs> He from Chicago. <laughs> Come to Chicago. Come to Chicago. <laughs> he from Chicago. <laughs> Shout out. Dollar bill. Oh, them country boys, nothing. He from Chicago. Man, man, come on, man. They don't know about somebody. Hey, call me ready to know what the county jail. What is the county, man? Look here, man. Hey, hey, hey look, look here. Hello. We, talk, we got a, okay, we got a kid. We got a kid. He wanted, he got a kid. He owe, he owe and owe right now. This is pro debut. Now, we got to find him the perfect fighter. The perfect. We got to find the perfect fighter. Which one it is? Uh, I, can, I can see Bruce Trampler. And uh, and, and Carl Beretta talking to each other right there. The hey, who you found? Hey, man, look, I found somebody. Well, there's this dude right now. He getting out of jail. He from Chicago. He getting out the county right now. He getting out of the county right now? Yeah, he getting out of the county right now. What we can do, we can we can fly to Chicago, snatch him up, put him on the contract, and put him on the fight court. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> what his record is? He one and one right now. He one and one. He one and one. Yeah, who he fought? So let's go see who he fought. I'm gonna see who it for. <laughs> this is, I'm trying to tell y'all, boy. Hey, I know how this. Hey, I know. How, hey, I know how this will be going. Hey, here you go, right? Here. Let, let's see who he for. All right, this is his first fight. So, so he heavyweight. Um, this dude, 42 years old. <laughs> he, made, he made his debut. He made his debut at 41. Hold on. This. <laughs> So, so Anthony Woodson, he 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 had a debut fight. He fought this dude right here. Anthony Woodson put Paul. Anthony Woodson knocked him out too. A TKO. He lost. Now you know he trash. This dude here is trash. For him to lose to a TKO to Anthony Woodson, you know that's trash. And he got another fight coming up. So Anthony Woodson, Anthony Woodson knocked and stops him. All right, cool. Anthony Woodson stops him. All right. So Anthony Wilson started out 1-0. 1-0. Oh. Oh. He fought a dude named Daniel Fry. Then he fought Skylar Lacey. He got, he, got, he got stopped in the sixth round. He got stopped in the fourth round. He fought Skylar Lacey. See what this dude look like. He <laughs> so he <laughs> was <laughs> he lost to this dude. <laughs> oh my God. What he finally needs to make the kids. What he finally needs to make the kids, man. <laughs> so he don't. So he, how old is dude here? How old is he? Let's see, oh, he 29. Boy, hush. They talk about this dude 29 years old. Boy, this man ain't no 29. True, true, true. Where he 29 at, fam? He's 6'7". 
age 29 years old. And, and, and he from Indianapolis. Man, this man ain't no dog on Twitter. <laughs> Boy, you ain't. Boy, they ain't no way. Come on, man. Who they think they talking to? All right, anyway, so he beat this dude right here. 29 years old, right? And then, so, so Bruce Trample and Carmen Reddy, they were rubbing their hands together like the bird, man. They said, look, we found somebody. Now, our fighter, he's 20 and 0. He's 20 and 0. This is his first probate debut. Who is it that we can put in the ring? Who is it that we can match him up with? Who is it that we can match him up with so he can get a highlight knockout reel? We got somebody. We got somebody from Chicago. He get out the county jail right there. <laughs> and don't call the nigga. Get out the county. He get out the county jail right there. He getting out the county for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at y'all. Look at this mugshot. This is a county jail mugshot, fam. I know I don't been to the county before. I know what a county jail mugshot look like. This is a county jail mugshot, man. True, true, true. Come on, man. Man, I don't been in the county before. I know what a county. I know what a mugshot. That's a mugshot. That's a mugshot right there. Man, they don't call the man. They don't call the man coming out of jail. No, he was eating bologna sandwiches. There it is. Yeah, he would eat bologna sandwiches. You know they be feeding bologna sandwiches in the county jail. He know eat them cold ass bologna sandwiches with the welfare cheese on there. Man was sitting there eating, man was sitting there eating, eating, eating you know, you know, they, they pulled him out, they pulled him out, called him, you know, flew him to Vegas, no, flew him to Texas, corporate Christie, uh, Texas, gave him $50, they gave the man $50, <laughs> look at me, I know you're child support, check it out, do what we're going to do, right, we going to, um, hey, Wookie Wook, check this out, fam, Wookie Wook, check this out, fam, what we going to do with this here, right, I, I know, I know, I know, I know this your fighter here on child support, what we going to do, we going to give him $50, and we going to, we going to put another 100 how much is child support is? He got six kids? Damn, he got six kids. Damn, he got a lot of kids. Um, okay, he got six. And how old he is? He 35. 35 or six kids. Okay, cool. Uh, this is what we're gonna do, right? $75. Since, since, since he on child support, since he on, okay, I tell you what, I tell you what, no. Nah. We're gonna give him $75, right? We're gonna give him $75. We're gonna put him in a hotel room. We're gonna pay for his flight to get there. You get what I'm saying? Um, uh, um, we gonna give him. We gonna give him a, a drink card so he can he can get one of these cards and he can get he can get a, he can get one free drink. You know he can get one free drink. We'll give him a drink card. Uh, you know at, at the event so he can drink. He ain't gotta worry about that. Um, I got a whole head cheese sandwich. Look like he ain't missing no meals. Big as his stomach is, he ain't missing no meals. So tell him I got a whole head cheese sandwich for him. You know what I mean? Case of Coronas, uh, box of lemon heads. You know, uh, some some Boston baked beans. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna call it a day. True, true, true. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what I mean? He got kids too. So yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 uh, somebody said ramen noodle soup. School on X Man said ramen noodle soup. Yeah, dog. We gonna we gonna give you ramen noodle soup, dog. We gonna give you a whole bunch of them. We gonna give you about. We gonna give you a six month supply of ramen noodle soup. You know, um, if you cook them right, it'll swell up in your stomach. Shout out to Miss Parker. If you cook them right, you it'll swell up in your stomach. See, 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 see. If you ain't did no time before, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Boy, you can you can take the ramen noodle soups and make a gourmet meal out of out of out of. Out. Listen, let me tell you something. You get a garbage bag, right? You get a garbage bag. Like, like you trying to make a big goulash. Anybody ever made a goulash before? <laughs> Anybody ever made a goulash before? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody know what a goulash is? Anybody know what a goulash is? You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, you know, you 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 know, you be in the tank or you be up the road somewhere, you make your old goulash, right? Make your old big goulash, you put some pork skins in there, you may, you know, put a little put a little grape jelly in there to try to make it give it a little tangy feel. You know, you get what I'm saying? Make up a, make a big goulash. What I'm going to do, dog, I'm going to give you, we're going to give you six months. Fuck it, I tell you what, we're going to give you a year supply of ramen noodle soup because you got six kids. They, they, they ain't going to never be hungry again. True, true, true. Yeah, man, I'm going to give you some pork. You get some pork grass, put them in there. Get some mac jack mackerel fish, some mackerel. Put that in there. You may want to get some tuna fish, put that in there. Get some mayonnaise. Put a little ketchup on it, mustard. You get what I'm saying? Make a old goulash. You know, y'all, 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 you know, a lot, lot, lot of y'all, some of y'all may not know about that. You know what I <laughs> SP say jelly, though. Yeah, the jelly, see, you don't know nothing about the jelly, SP. The jelly, the jelly give it that tangy, give it that tangy um, taste to it. You don't know nothing about the jelly. Uh, you, you don't know nothing about that jelly, SP. That's a whole nother level right there. I want to say Martin Rivera said he said a 40, a 40 a country club. Man, this dude here, man. Hey, all they say he only eat the shrimp, the shrimp flavor ramen noodles. Yeah, man. He said tuna casserole, 
does slap though. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Shout out to my Miss Parker. She said I made a good old five star meal out of some noodles, out of some oodles and noodles. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Hey, hey Miss Parker. They just, they, they just, hey, Miss Parker. The struggle, hey, the struggle real. They don't know, boy. They listen. The, the struggle real. And then this is the thing, right? When you when you eating the same thing every night, you gotta know how to switch it up. True, true, true. All right, so so I think there's an overall conclusion. You know, we all can agree that Jared, that uh, Big Baby, Big Baby need a step up fight. We gotta put Big Baby back in there. Put Big Baby in there with uh with FL Jogbar. Let Big Baby and FL Jogbar go at it. We'll see what's up. I think that should be the next fight. Um, um, again, just like Atlantic Star. If your heart isn't in it, why don't you tell me so? <laughs> if your heart isn't in it, why won't you tell me so? Listen, if your heart ain't in it, man, you just, just leave Boston alone. Amazon hiring. They're paying $20 an hour at McDonald's in, 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 in California. Oh, uh, uh, that, that just that just passed. Uh, let's see. What, what, is, what, what else we got for them? Walmart hiring. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff you can do, man. True, true, true. <laughs> SP say sandwich game. I mean, you know what I mean? Hey, cause one thing I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be begging him. Okay, if you don't want to fight, dog. That's cool. Hey, you know, you don't want to fight. That's fine, friend. You ain't want to fight, John. Big baby. You know, you got the right thing and shit. You got the right name. You want to fight stuff like that. So I mean, I get it. I mean, it is what it is. You know, you want to cry, shit. Go ahead and cry. Go ahead and cry, man. And you know, I, I ain't. I ain't mad at you. You know what I mean? But. If you don't want to fight, just get out of the way and let somebody else let somebody else fight. You know what I mean? I want to see him fight FA job by next. I think he's ready. Jamie say, Coach, Big Baby is a frog. He needs a real challenge. He fight a can after can. Yeah, FA, FA Jog Ball. I think FA Jog Ball is the fight to make for him. And what it say, SP? He said, he said, you just made me want some McDonald's fries and a shake. Quick as hell. You get what I'm saying? Miss Connor said he looked disappointed, Coach. Big baby. Yeah, uh, you know what he probably need to do? He need to change his name too. You know, like Big Baby, that don't sound gangster enough. Like even even when Gerald Miller was calling himself Big Baby, you know Gerald Big Baby Miller, but he talk a lot of trash. He's from the Bronx. No, he's from Brooklyn. So you know them Brooklyn, them Brooklyn niggas talk, them Brooklyn niggas talk a lot of shit. You know what I mean? So he from Brooklyn, so you know he, he you know he was like the tough guy. So he didn't really sound you know seem soft with it. But I think. What Jared Anderson, what Jared Anderson got to do, he got to change that big baby name. He got to change big baby. You know what I mean? We need to. Jared A.K. Miller or Jared, Jared Shotgun. No, Jared, Jared Shotgun Anderson. Jared Shotgun Anderson. You get what I'm saying? Uh, we need, uh, you get what I'm saying? We need, we need something like that. He need to change his name to Jared Shotgun Anderson or, or, uh, Lil Uzi, Lil, no, Lil Uzi, Lil, Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi, Jared, or uh, something. You get what I'm saying? Because I think the big baby, the big baby, the big baby name starting to make him sound a little soft a little bit. And as, as again, if he don't want to fight, man, he don't want to fight. It is what it is. Then, but then, too, I, I had one dude tell me, he said, you know he hanging out with Shakur. So people feel like, you know, maybe Shakur could be rubbing off on him. Um, I think Shakur is kind of like a mentor to him or something of that sort. So I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just want to see him fight F.A. Job by this point. We don't, we need, we need, we need, that's what we need to see. Brady 12, what did it say, fam? You said cry baby Anderson. I mean, you know, I mean, the man crying, you know, the man, the man, the man is emotional, brother. He, I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say he'll cry baby, you know, it's just that, uh, you know, man, man cry sometimes, brother. You know, he's going through a lot of pressure making all that money. When you're making money, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. He said, he said, Jared, the kid, Jared the Kid, man, Anderson. What did he say, SP? He said, yep, he training. He said, yep, he training with little people. Yeah, he got to see. I think that's a problem, too. He need to be sparring and training with some big guys. Because I see him sparring with Shakur. You can't learn that sparring with Shakur when you that big. You a heavyweight. I mean, maybe, you know what? No, I, I take that back. You can learn footwork and stuff like that. You can't learn the footwork and stuff like that. But you a heavyweight, though. Like, let, let's be real. That ain't no real sparring session. That ain't no real sparring session. You know what I mean? You can learn like the footwork and different looks and stuff like that. But I'm saying from a sparring standpoint, that's not a real sparring session. That ain't. Come on, man. He too big for your court. Shout out to uh, RJ. You said you said I know you didn't say Shakur. No, nah, for real. Like no, nah, no. Nah, RJ, 
Um, Big Baby and Shakur, they're real tight. They're real tight. True, true, true. Yeah, for real though. Don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google that shit. For real. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all all know what I'm talking about, man. You feel me? You just sit here, you don't know what I'm talking about? Really though. I say what I say and I deliver it. Yes, sir. To this day. <laughs> Hey, 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 so so we know Dula Mason. Dula Mason ready. I wouldn't mind seeing a Dula Mason and the Kid Austin fight. Um, you know, I don't think that'll happen right now, but Dula Mason Kid Austin. Kid Austin gotta fix uh he gotta uh he gotta he gotta fix some things. He got a lot he got a lot to work on. He got a lot to work on. Abdullah Mason, in my opinion, uh seems to be a little bit a little bit more polished, to be fair, uh, between the two. He seems to be a little bit more polished. But um, I don't think those young men will be fighting each other until maybe later on down the line, hopefully, you know. Uh, what to say, uh, SP? You say he too big to be boxing like that. Shout out the dog on, uh, I guess I don't say Wilder. You know what? Shit, at this point, at this, and listen, listen, at this stage, I wouldn't mind seeing him in there with Wilder. True, true, true. Yeah, for real. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing him, in, seeing, him in, seeing him in there with Wilder. What did say, Harvey? You say Abdullah looking pinpoint with, the, with accuracy. Yeah, yeah, he's very, very sharp. He's very sharp in focus. Very sharp in focus. Abdullah Mason's probably like 12 and 0, 13 and 0, something like that. Let's look him up. I don't know what he be, but he be finding tomato cans, boy. God damn, boy. Let me see. They, you, know, you, know, you know, you got a bunch of, they probably got a bunch of Boston, tomato cans on Boston Twitter. Let's see, uh, Abdullah Mason. Thank you, 12 and 0. Let's see, 12 and 0, 13 and 0. Oh, he's 13 and 0. Okay, last night. <clears throat> Abdullah Mason, 13 and 0. Yeah. Yeah, man, I love that kid, man. I, lo I love Abdullah Mason, man. That kid, I mean, listen, bro. Tell you something. <clears throat> that little motherfucker special, bro. Cleveland, Ohio. I love his dad, love his brothers, like uh, his whole family, man. I got a chance to meet him. I talked to his dad. <clears throat> I can call him. He answered the phone. Um, like really, really good, you know, really, really good Muslim family, man. I really, really, I liked him. I like Dula Mason a lot, boy. Like <clears throat> that young, you know what I mean? We gonna see what's up, bro. We gonna see what's up with him. Um, call him. What's your name? You calling from? Salute, salute, coach. It's Claymore Rain. How you doing this evening? Man, Claymore Rain, talk to me, fam. Yeah, yeah, man. Last night was a, was a telling night of fights, man. Um, you know, Abdullah Mason had a telling fight doing what he's supposed to do, not playing with his food, showing that he levels above everybody who's around him. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's probably the hottest prospect in the game right now. But um, more so, um, Big Baby Anderson, right? He has some, some choices to make. He has to make some decisions as to whether or not he wants to box or not. I think people are sleeping on, his, um, on the lack of commitment, and especially talking about putting him into being um, – you know, in, in the championship conversations to be dealing with the likes of a, even a Daniel Dubois and anything north of that, this man has to be committed to the sport. If he really doesn't feel like boxing anymore, especially being a heavyweight, he has real decisions to make because he's going to end up being a meme. Yeah. You know, take, taking his opponents lightly and taking his training lightly. And I also agree with the Shakur Stevenson um, um, part of the conversation. As far as Shakur's a great boxer, and I'm sure you can show him a lot of footwork, but who is he sparring with in his gym? What kind of work is he getting to develop him into the heavyweight he needs to be? Last night, he looked like a big old Shakur Stevenson in, in the ring. You know, thank God he was with a little guy. He's up in there with, with Daniel Dubois or even a, 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 a Jabe. I hope I said his name right. Jabe or God forbid they put yeah. him in the ring with, with a Joseph Parker or Deontay Wilder. Right? I mean, it's going to be problems with somebody with a mentality like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I didn't listen. Um, L, I mean, I'm Clay, Clay Moraine. I didn't see the fight, fam, but... Um, I'm hearing a lot of people were like, man, that shit was terrible. People saying they turned the fight off. They said it was boring. Um, you know, he was supposed to stop that guy. And especially a lot of the hype that he's been getting. And this is why I'm asking, has he been living up to the hype? You know, do, do people feel he's been living up to the hype? And um, I, think, I think they took a step back from the Charles Martin fight. Because Charles Martin, after Charles Martin got knocked down in that fight, he started putting some hands and foots on, um, on, uh, on Jared Anderson. He started... You know, he, he, he was hurting that boy pretty good and um, almost got him out of there twice. And um, he, he, he um, exposed a lot in him, pulling his head straight back, getting caught with straight lefts and different angles and stuff. 
and you know wobbling and you know so um i think i think they took a step back but now it's he's going to have to i want to see him in that with jock but i think both of both of both of them went top rank i think that's the fight they make next i agree with you i think he needs a real test um i, I agree 100 percent with you he needs a real test and what you saw last night was somebody who probably was trying to make some adjustments based off that charles martin fight right so mm -hmm. he he became real defensively conscious all of a sudden last night and um, in, in front of somebody who he really wasn't supposed to be that defensively conscious in front of. Like, honestly, that guy was put there to be a showcase to, to sell him to the public as the next heavyweight champion in America. Um, poor, poor performance. Uh, like I said in the comments before, I don't think that I'm going to discredit him to the point to where I'm going to say he's trash. I know a lot of people want to throw him away, mm -hmm. but I think he has a lot of things, um, a lot of holes to patch up, and he better not get in, in the ring with a top 10 fighter right now. Maybe in a jog base if they, if they want to put him out there, but he has some development um, things going on right now that he needs to address. I, I agree. I agree, man. And shout out to Claymore Ray, man. Brother, thank you for calling the show. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. He, he, he make a valid point. Uh, I don't know, man. And see, this is the thing. Like I said, man, if if you know, and again, he getting all this hype. <clears throat> He's supposed to be the next, you know, our next savior in America from a heavyweight standpoint. Okay, well save us then, nigga. If you if you supposed to be the next savior, save us. Put the cape on your back, fly through like Superman, and save us. We don't need to see you crying on doggone crying crying on your lovely mother or crying on Roy Jones. Yeah, man, I don't want, I don't want to do this no more, man. Like, yeah, man, like, man, I. Oh, man, I, I wanna, man, I wanna, uh, you know, I wanna, uh, you know, man, I don't know if I wanna, I'm like, man, dude, man, come on, man, you know, come, you gotta, you know, you get what I'm saying? I gotta go back, I gotta look at it, but everybody I saw, everybody I heard saw that fight, man, they, they didn't like it. Um, Carlos, what's the name of from? Hey, Coach, this is Julio from Vegas. Julio from Vegas, talk to me. Hey, Coach, I got, I got a different, uh, take on this whole, uh, big baby situation. I see a lot of people comparing it to like Shakur and shit and, you know, saying that he's been over defensive. Um, I'm not seeing it like that, man. I was watching that fight and the guy across the ring from him was failing to engage. I think this is more of a situation of, of a guy that doesn't have that many tools in his arsenal. Mm -hmm. He kept on shooting the jab, uh, following up with a one, two. He just, he couldn't hit him with, with anything. You know, it's a shot that you don't see coming that really hurts you. And he just couldn't find those shots. I think this isn't, you know, he, he has had all the, you know, issues and the talk with Roy Jones and all that nonsense. But I think that this guy's problem is not just the fact, you know, the lack of commitment, but it's also a lack of arsenal, man. I think he's just not that good. I think that's where dudes are getting confused because they're like, you know, he, he's doing the Shakur. He wasn't doing the Shakur thing. He was coming forward the whole night. He just couldn't find any shots. Yeah. So, I don't so, know, man. So, I think, so basically what you're saying, I don't, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't necessarily – uh, Big Baby. Big Baby was there doing what he do, but it was the other guy not wanting to engage. Is is that what you're saying? That's what made him look bad of that sort? So that's not, I mean, that was part of it, but I think that it's not so much, because a lot of people are comparing him to Shakur. You know, Shakur, you know, he fights off the back foot. He's real defensive. Big Baby wasn't being defensive. He was coming forward. Mm -hmm. He just didn't know what the fuck to do coming forward. You get what I'm saying? So, so it's mean, not just that he's not not you know much. what I'm saying? So I think he's got he's got more than just one problem. It's not just that he's not committing; it's that he's not that good, coach. Yeah, yeah. And you know, if you if you if you in the front foot, you going forward, and you don't know how to execute your offense in order to break it down, break a guy down that doesn't want to engage. That tells a lot. He probably is. It's probably he probably got to do get some more better sparring partners, whoever he's been sparring, and work on some of those things. Like, okay, if you got a guy that don't want to engage. This is how you get him out of there, or something of that sort. So, um, someone of his caliber. Exactly. Do you feel? Do you feel that someone of G Big Baby's caliber, for what he's been hyped up to be, do you feel that even though the fighter that he fought last night did not want to engage, he should have been able to figure out a way to break this guy, break this guy down and stop? He he he, he definitely should have been able to coach. He was the thing is he was uh he, when he would faint, the guy was biting on almost every other faint, mm -hmm. but he wasn't capitalizing off of it. He just, he kept shooting the jab and then he was following it up with a one, two. He wasn't doing anything special. He wasn't, it just, and then he switched to South, uh, he was going back and forth from South Florida to, to Orthodox mm. and he was doing the same shit with both hands. 
So he was just standing right in front of him, and then when he pulls back, he pulls back straight. There was a couple shots or two where he got he got hit coming out. It, it may have made him a little timid because he would just that same one two over and over again. And it's like, bro, if you keep knocking on that door, you're not gonna get him out. You got to come around the corner, like you got to do something. And he just, he, yeah, somebody of his caliber should have got that guy out of there. Coach. He might have. That's all I got for you, coach. All right, shout out to Julio for Vegas. He might have was all. You know, he might have, maybe, maybe, maybe he was having flashbacks of uh, Charles Martin. What, what, my, what my main man named Charles, I walk the earth like a god, Martin. Maybe he was having flashbacks to Charles Martin. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe, maybe so. Um, shout out to Stephen A. Salute to you, fam. He said, y'all see Tank call him a weak-ass heavyweight? Let, let's see. Let's go to Twitter. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna, I do like Twitter now. Let's go to Twitter. Let's go to X. So, have a lot going on in boxing. As I said before, doggone Carissa Shields, the quote, the quote, dropped a diss track, dissing Alicia Baumgartner last week, I think, or earlier this week, last week. Then Ryan Garcia dropped a diss track while jogging with his brother, dissing Devin at the Dream Haney. And then on top of that, he followed it up on Twitter by going after Terrence Crawford, dissing him, saying he want the smoke, and he dissed Errol Spitz, saying that he was high before the Crawford fight and he suffered from substance abuse and all that stuff there. So, we have a lot of dissing going on in hip hop, dissing going on in boxing. So it is what it is, you know, it's good for the sport. True, true, true. Let's see what Tank has to say. Let's see what Tank has to say. Let's see what he say. Hold on, let me see. Where where Tank at? Uh what did he what what did he say? I don't I don't see it. What did he say that? Let me see. Said it was trans? Why is why is Cookie barking? Hey Kai! He said once did this shit. What did he say that? I'm, li I'm looking at his Twitter right now. You know, we got to cover fights on Twitter. We have to cover fights on Twitter. This is where it's at. A lot of fights going down on Twitter. Let's see what's up. This tank, this tank, uh, this tank, hey, you know what? Do I have me laughing? Do I have me laughing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this video right here, right? <laughs> I see some dudes, they made a video. They made a video on that. Ooh, Tate, Tate look at y'all see Tate. Tate look at Rip. He ripped now. I'm telling you, boy, he gonna be ready. I was like, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that. Tate Rip, boy, Tate, boy, Tate ready, boy. Boy, Frank Martin, listen, Frank Martin in trouble. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Oh, that look good. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, man, Frank Martin, Frank Martin in trouble, man. He in trouble, man. I'm just trying to say, hey, hey, I saw, I saw a couple of dudes make like make some videos for real. Yeah, man, you just she tape or tape rip now. She tape she a monster, she she fake. I'm trying to tell you now, and he tied it on. <laughs> 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 I say that he do. <laughs> I say that he do. be killing me with this shit right here, boy. One thing I say, boy, Tank, but Tank got some hell of a fans, boy. Listen, Tank Davis fan base, boy, they gonna ride. They gonna ride with Tank, boy. They gonna. One thing I will say now, they gonna Tank Davis fans gonna ride with him. Aaron Spence fans, they even though even though they jump shipped on them, they did jump ship. Now now they, they Aaron Spence fans became Boots fans. But they, you know, now they try. They try to come back to the big fish, the big catfish. They try to get back over that way. But uh, but Tank fans, they gonna ride with them. Devin Haney fans, Danny Haney fans gonna ride with them. They riding. Shakur fans gonna ride with him. You know, they go. Shakur fans gonna ride with him. You know, you guys saw a boxing clinic last night. Y'all hating. Y'all saw a boxing clinic last night, man. No fuss given. He said. He said. He said that was suspect as hell. And Miss Parker say, Andy tied it up. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Tatted up, you know. 
Frank Martin, you know, so sources say, sources say Frank Martin in trouble. Sources say. You know, sources say once Frank Martin gets checked. Yeah, I don't I don't see the tweet. I like I like covering stuff on Twitter. I like covering stuff on Twitter. I don't see the tweet. I don't see the tweet. I see what, what, what Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia dropping diss tracks. Ryan Garcia dropping diss tracks. Ryan Garcia dropping diss tracks. You know, let's let's go to King Ryan. We ain't gotta cover no boxing. Let's cover we let, let's let's cover let's cover who dissing who. Let's see. Now, hey, 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 uh, hey, Sabrina Lee. This, hey, this what it, this what Boston in America has come to. Boston in America. You say it's on IG. Okay, let's go to IG. Bo this what Boston in America has come to, sis. Right now, we okay. It's, it's, it's on IG. Let's go to Instagram. Let's go to IG, y'all. Um, Carla, what's your name? Carla from? Man, you already know. It's inevitable. It's D Block, D Town, D City, D Ville, Baltimore. Hey! Uh, D Block, hold on for a minute. Shout out to the real McCoy. Hey, okay. I'm dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, he say, okay now, coach. And he, he said, okay, coach. He said, now you're going to have bosses telling you they're going to pull up, pull up on you, talking about the brother changing his name. No, nah, no. Nah, the reason why I say that, real McCoy, is because the man, you know, he took somebody else's name, Big Baby. You can't have two Big Babies in boxing. We know who the original Big Baby is. He out of Brooklyn. Then you coming out saying your name, Big Baby too. You got, you got to change that. You got to change that. You get what I'm saying? That's all, hey, 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 that's all I'm saying, brother. He, what he going to have to do, probably change his name or something, because right now he making the big baby name look bad with him doing all that crying and stuff, see? He crying like a little baby for real, though. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People prepping pimping, sharp as razor blades. Um, D-Block, talk to me. <laughs> Coach, wasn't that a beautiful fight last night? I mean, the American heavyweight of America, he just shown everybody his skills, uh, pushing and shoving the smaller man, making him look bad. Coach, were you impressed last night by Gary, ba Baby Anderson? No, I didn't watch the fight. Oh, you didn't watch the fight, Coach? No, sir. There was no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was, um, I was, um, I was Coach, out. it was a good fight. I mean, go ahead, Coach. No, I was, I was out spending time with the family, so I didn't get a chance to watch it. Well, let me tell you, Coach. I'm going to say the opposite. I think Baby Anderson, he just wanted to carry the other guy. That's all he did. He was trying to, maybe there was a contract in there that said, take it slow, don't overdo it, and don't overshow. I think Baby Anderson did a hell of a job last night, Coach. What you got to say with that? Man, from what I've been hearing, um, I've been hearing the total opposite. They say that the fight was boring. He fought a guy that didn't want to engage. Um, he was still pulling straight back in the line, getting hit. Um, from time to time, and um, you know, um, I heard he cried after the fight, um, and um, you know, so I heard the total opposite. You know, a lot of people felt disappointed. He went ten rounds with someone that he should have got out of there, being that all of the hype that he's been receiving. So uh, uh, that's that's what I heard so far. So you're the only guy that called and said that it was good. The only person. Well, well, well coach, you can't knock out everybody. We know this. Hmm. You know, I mean, the guy was he was he was a little tomato can, but at the end of the day, you know. Maybe he had to pay some bills. And he talked to Jared Anderson in the, in, the, in the back of the locker room and said, can you carry me to 12? Can you carry me? Or 10? You know what I mean, Coach? Maybe it was that. Maybe he was helping a brother out. How come we can't say that, brother? Well, I don't know about that. But um, this hey, 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 this what I do know, D-Block. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Happy uh, Sunday to all the Kinderonis and to all my haters. Kiss my ass twice. D-Block, D-Snap, D-C-D-Bill, possible stand-up. Shout out to D-Block. <laughs> <Anyways. laughs> hey, hey, shout out to Sabrina Lee. Sabrina Lee, what's going on? Miss Connor say that fight was like, was like your Reggie, D-Block. Hey, man, that's all I'm saying. Hey, hey, you know what? Hey, check it out. Hold on, let me see what's up. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Instagram right now. Let's go to Instagram. I'm on IG. I'm on The Hunt. You know, hey, hey, this is this where we got to find our boxing news from. Let's see, uh, King Rye. Huh? Hold on. What? Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, hold on. My bad. My bad. Oh, I got it. My bad. I think I know what it is. The fuck? I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull up Ryan Garcia. You know, we got a couple of boxing. Um, call him. What's your name? Call him from? Jamie from New York. Jamie from New York. Talk to me. 
Coach, I hope you hear me okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Deep block you, my boy, but get off that Reggie, man. I don't know what the fuck you were talk you talking about. Coach, I watched two rounds of that fight, and I walked away. I don't know what round it was. The big baby It's exactly... That's exactly what he is. A big baby when I look at him, bro. You know what I mean? Go. Listen, man. He, he threw so many jumps in one round that I walked away, man. That tells me right there, shows me that the other the opponent didn't come to fight. He wasn't throwing anything back. The fight was horrible. It was boring. Uh, I don't know how this motherfucker is going to, you know, then he cry and complain and, and bitch and moan. Dude, if you don't fight the fight, okay, the right opponent to move up the ranks, you're not going to get a title shot. So stop whining. You got to fight the fight, man. So this guy is not there. That heavyweight uh, savior that we're all expecting and waiting for, he's not it, man. He's a joke. I agree with Tank. He's a shitty fighter. Um, I see no future in this guy. Again, fighting one tomato can after the next coach, you don't get better. You know? Um, again, I didn't see the whole fight. Uh, I watched highlights of it this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, people complaining. Um, but again, he goes, he, in that name, man, I agree with you, man. That makes you sound soft. You got to change that shit, bro. Yeah, he got to change. You know? he switch that shit up. I mean, no, the reason why I say that is because of how it's because of um, the behavior that's followed it. That's why I say that. The behavior that's that that's, that's yeah. Uh, I got you. Yeah, the, the behavior. Because if he's crying on Roy Jones, if he's crying on his mother, then your nickname is Big Baby. Then you are actually, like exactly. you say, living up to being a baby. So I think yeah. he needs. I think he needs to change that. That's me, per me personally. Yeah, yeah. He, he that's exactly, exactly what I see. A big baby, man. Bro, fight the fight. Move up the ranks. You will get a title shot, but you got to put in the work. Okay. So again, man. Just, you want to make a name for yourself? You, you, you're fighting for the right promoter. You're in the right company. He'll get you the fight. I don't know what the fuck they're waiting for. You know? And I don't see him. Coach, again, when you look that bad and horrible against the Terrio can, I, I don't know what you're going to do if it's an elite fighter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see him winning. I, 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 as, much as, I, as much as I dislike Wilder, I think I gave Wilder a shot against Big Baby. I see him knocking out Big Baby because Big Baby's defense is horrible. He gets hit a lot. You know? So, listen, I'm wishing well. It is what it is. I know he's young and, and everything, but again, the, 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 the right dancing partner matters. I'm going to leave you with that, Coach. All right. Have a good day, brother. That's my call. I don't know, man. I'm sitting over here, boy. I'm sitting over here, boy. We're we, we, we going to be talking about uh, this going to be fight week, Rakeem Rye. And, and right, listen, Ryan Garcia's on a tear. This motherfucker, he, but he, is Ryan Garcia the Tupac of boxing? Is Ryan Garcia the Tupac of boxing? He hit him up. He dropping diss tracks. You know, he dissing, he diss bad boy as a record label staff and as a crew. <laughs> nigga called, he called it out Crawford, dissing Errol Spence, dissing Devin Haney. Uh, call him, what's your name? He called it from. It's L from Kansas City two times. L two times, talk to me. Uh, you know Tank deleted them tweets. You can Google it and find it, but he deleted those tweets. That's why you can't find it. Oh, that's why I can't. He did, oh, you missed the tweet. He still deleted tweets? He de yeah, he deleted it. He deleted it right away. But no, he called him a weak ass because somebody said, what are you doing? He said, watching this weak ass heavyweight. And then I guess he deleted it because that's what he does. But you can find it because they got articles about it all over. Well, somebody, you know, somebody, they probably, um, they bought a screenshot of it. I, I probably have it right here. Somebody probably sent it to me. I'm like, yeah, Mr. Mel, what, 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 why, why he deleting the tweet? I mean, I don't know, man. Mr. De, Mr. Deleted, Mr. Tweet and Delete. I don't know. He all that's, that, I don't like Tank much anyway. And the fact that he deletes the tweets, it's like you don't say, what, what they're saying now, stand on business. He ain't standing on business, coach. He always deleting his shit. So. Standing on, man, the man's standing uh, on no. business, man. The man, come on, man. Man, yeah. the man, come on, man. The man's yeah, standing on business, man. Taking ground. <laughs> and then uh, you saw you saw Ryan Garcia. I saw somewhere he said something about 
Kanye, he already booked Kanye to walk him into the ring on Saturday. Yeah. I was like, okay. All right, man. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at King Ride right now. Look like he look like he don't lost some weight. He, you know, this is the week they normally get get to get down, get down to the weight they need to be at. And so he look like he don't he look like he don't um, got rid of a lot of that water weight right here, what I'm looking at. I'm looking at him right here, and um his face don't look as fat anymore. It looked like he got rid of some of that water weight. His face looking a little skinny. So I'm like, oh, okay. King Rye, you know, little, little fast hands. Look at that speed right there. Ooh, I don't know, boy. I don't know, boy. Devin Haney might be in trouble, boy, come Saturday. Ooh, look at that jacket, Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll watch it. I don't think, I don't think he's going to be much. <laughs> All right, man. Shout out to Elf from Kansas City. Salute for Hey, right. I don't know, boy. I don't know. Boy, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Hey, 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 this how you get the castle. This how you get the castle. But I don't know, boy. You see how fast his hands here, though? Boy, you see how fast his hands? I don't know, boy. You see that hands be? What up? Hey, 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 listen. This how the castle. Hey, this, hey, this how. This, this how they be fooling themselves, right? You see that hands be? Boy, I don't know. What's it? How he gonna get around that? How he? How what's it? Ain't gonna get around that? I don't know, boy. You see how fast he got some hands? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, boy. My man look good. Yeah, you see when he hit him here, miss? <laughs> hey, they look at how motherfucker, how motherfucker look on hand, miss, and you and, and use that as a measuring stick for what he going to be able to do in the ring. I'm like, boy, hush. Uh, Carla, what's the name you call him from? Coach is D-Block two times. D-Block two times. Talk to me. Coach, I'll smoke some good red. I saw that video you just put right now. Reggie, I mean, my bad. I'm sorry. I am smoking Reggie, Coach. Uh, Ryan Garcia, the king of the ring. He looking fast. He looking like he's going to be unstoppable. Did you see those midwork? I mean, I'm telling you, Coach. I'm telling you. It's going to be a slaughter Saturday night. It's going to be one of the greatest comebacks in the history of boxing. Even when Sugar Ray Leonard beat Molly's Molly Hats. What you got to say with that? How how is it gonna be a comeback? Like I mean, Sugar Ray came off of almost three year layoff, did the improbable, uh, won a unit, won a, uh, a split decision victory against Hagler. Um, like what what is Ryan Garcia coming back from? Like you know he you know he got knocked out by Tank. Well he quit. So, he quit on Tank. It's been a he year. Fought Duarte. No, he yeah. fought Duarte though. He fought Duarte. So he he he, he hasn't been a year since he fought. He fought Duarte. So what is he coming back from? He's coming back from the debacle that he had with Tank Davis. And we know what happened that night, Coach. It was an unfair fight. I got to agree with you like you always say. You signed a contract. I'm with you, Coach. But redemption is coming for Ryan Garcia. He is coming with it all. Uh, no, Diddy. And I'm telling you, Coach, for Tank Davis, Waheed Davis, Bobblehead, to talk shit about the heavyweight upcoming champion of the world, Big Baby Anderson. He, he, he likes to talk a lot of shit, but I bet you if he was in front of his face, he wouldn't say that shit. Big Baby would knock his ass out. He would put him through a window, Coach. I mean, I mean he's, so, I mean, he's, think way, that's a he's, he's way bigger than Tank. Ahead, like, you know, I mean, if he, if yeah. he was to hit Tank, he yeah. wouldn't get any, yeah, any, no, any points for that. Go ahead. He's way bigger than Tank. Yeah, but he's the kind, kind of fighter that he'll tweet something and erase it like, like the other caller said. That don't stand on business like they said. That, that, that's fake shit right there, Coach. That tells me that he don't believe in anything that he said. What you got to say with that? You know what I got to say, D-Block? Do what I got, D -block, do, do, do what I got to say. <laughs> I got to say that, D-Block. <laughs> so, again, we got the fight coming up, my people. Get ready. King Rod, Devin Haney. You know I respect both of our young men. But I'm telling you, King David, here is that. Your ass going to get clear, too. D-Block, out. I'm sorry, D-Block. Yeah, D -Block, that was that what I got to say about that. Uh, shout out to New Country. He said, Coach, I sent you the Davis tweet on X. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it. I just saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Um, <laughs> hey, so <laughs> shout out to Nigeria Nightmare. Keith Bull it all. Shout out to Wookie Wook. SP got beats. Hey, check it out them now. Nah, I just I just saw a picture. Now, this picture look gangster now. Y'all see this picture right here? This picture look gangster. They got they got Shakur. He got a serious look on his face, holding up. Holding up, uh, he got the WBO belt holding it up. Uh, uh, I, I guess, I guess that's the fake. I, I, I guess that's the uh, what is that? The intern? What what this is? The intern WBO belt. This dude back here in the back, next to Shakur, 
next to Shakur, he looking like, he looking like, all right, now. Nah. Right, he, he, he got that look on his face like, hold on, wait a minute now, now, now. All right, now. Nah. Try to change, now. Nah. What we going to do this? And then, you know, Shakur looking gangster. Jared, y'all see Big Baby in the middle with his arms crossed. Y'all see Keith, Keith the, the business man right there. You know, I don't know who, I don't know, uh, 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 what, what, what belt that is? That's what it is. What is that? The, the, the WBC Buffalo belt. <laughs> so, so you know what? So Jared, 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 Big Baby, he already is a champion then, right? He got two titles. He got two titles. Jared, Jared Anderson has two titles. It look like, you know, I, I, can't, I can't call him a champion because you know what I mean. Because you know, just because you, just because you, hold, just because you hold the title, don't mean you're a champion. So he got two titles. You know, he got two. <laughs> hey, hey, he got he got two titles. He put hey, he put his he put his belts on the line. <laughs> he put his belts on the line. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, boy, that, that hey, boy, ooh, boy, that look gay. But I ain't gonna lie, boy, that picture right there, boy. Bam, boy, that picture look that picture look intimidating there, boy. Them look like some Compton City G's. They look like some G's right here, boy. Y'all see Keyshawn right there. Look, 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 look like Keyshawn holding. Look like Keyshawn, Keyshawn, Keyshawn holding. What what belt is this? The WBC. I see champion right there. Champion. What, what? That ain't that ain't the real belt though. That ain't the real belt. And this is the the IBL. Oh, this is the international. Oh no, no, it's not. IBF is International Boxing Federation. Um, I don't know which one this is though. Do anybody know what belt which IBF belt that is? And which WBC belt that is? Oh, that's the NA NABO belt. Yeah, hey, you know what? Hey, set the wumble. You might be right about that. The IBF NABO belt. What about that WBC belt though? What about this WBC belt? What this is? Anybody know what that is? WBC? You know, they got that, you know, WBC, they, they got so many goddamn belts. Every time I turn around, Mauricio Sulemar, oh, I got, oh, I got something to show y'all. Ooh, I got something to show y'all, boy. Lord have mercy, boy. What Mauricio Sulemar in that? What Mauricio Sulemar in that? Where, where's Mauricio Sulemar? Let's go to, let me go back to Twitter. Here it go right here. Mauricio Sulemar. Yeah, I'm the president of the WBC, you know. But y'all see Mauricio walking around. But y'all, ooh, Lord have mercy. Y'all see that there? Y'all see that there? Y'all see Mauricio? Yeah, ooh. <laughs> oh, hey, I ride with the AK. Y'all see that there, man? Mauricio there. You know, the bronze bomber. To this day. Y'all see the bronze bomber there, cheesy, showing all 32 teethies. All 32. And guess what? I think the bronze bomber got a fight coming up in Saudi Arabia again with Eddie Hearn. I think he got something coming up with Eddie Hearn. There it go right there. Look at that, Mauricio. He got Mauricio screaming, bomb squad. Bomb squad. To this day. You get what I'm saying? Okay, y'all see what it is. Y'all see what it is now. Y'all see what it is. Don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google that shit. Hey, Brady 12 said Wilder's with the white man. Yeah, 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 yeah you know what I mean? I'm just, no, I'm just saying, okay, you know what he doing this thing? Woo, but hey, listen, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Yeah, man, Jay Wilder, Wilder over there. I think, I think him, and, him and Mauricio, Mauricio probably told him, look, I got a plan. I got a plan where I can make you a champion again. I'm going to get you back in the ring. Don't worry about it. You will, you will become a champion again. You will hold the WBC title again. Just wait. Be patient with me. Wait till after the, uh, uh, t the Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk debacle. Wait till that fight happens. Once that fight happens, you know, um, Usyk and the winner of that fight is going to drop the WBC belt. And then we're going to put you in a, in, a, in, a, in a title match with the next available guy. Don't worry about it. Bomb Squad, you will be back. To this day! You get what I'm saying? That, that's, probably, that's probably what Mauricio told him. And what did he say? Um, Hitman, Hitman say, Eddie the Hitman Hearns giving Wilder big money. Hey, look, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. Eddie the Hitman Hearns, you know <laughs> Hey, Wilder, Wilder don't love the PBC, man. He, oh, man, come on, man. Boy, the Kegels, hey, motherfucker, the Kegels of Munda don't love. I say, boy, that, that right there alone blowing up every narrative you could think of. That right there alone blowing up all the narratives. I mean, I mean, the niggas explaining, the niggas explaining that you're going to have to, the mental gymnastics 
that they had to go through in order to explain that picture. In order to explain, remember Eddie Herman was supposed to be the, the, the white, blue-eyed devil. I know y'all remember that, right? I'm like, the mental gymnastics that they're going to have to put together just to explain this. We must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate, to preclude on the issue of world domination with only circumvent excuse me, circumcise the revelation that reflects the aphrodisiac symptoms which now perpetrates the Jericho's activation. Yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you, boy, the bronze bomber, boy. Hey, anybody know what that, um, anybody know what that, um, that makes say bad? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, that makes say bad, man. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, I'm trying to, we got to find that mix tape, man. You know, that, that, um, what do you got? A, he got an Afro beast out mix tape. I'm going to check it. Hold on. Let, 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 let me see if I find it. Shit, I'm going to, you know, I may check that. I may check it out, though, man. I, I, heard, I heard it wasn't that bad, though. Oh, Deontay Wilder single. Deontay Wilder music. It might be, it might be on YouTube. I'm trying to tell you, bro. All these fighters, all these fighters making, making music now. All these fighters making music now. Yeah. Carissa Shields. Yeah, uh, Ryan Garcia rapping. Yeah, man. What do you say? Oh, right. He got he got to get his clout up, dog. He ain't got but. What? 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 And you know what? What the fuck? The Wilder ain't got but 21,000 subscribers on YouTube? No, man. No. Wilder ain't got but 21. Hold on, I want to show y'all this. Wilder don't have but 20. No, he got to get his clout up. See, you see what I'm saying? See, no, see, see you, you, know, you know what today's boxing. Y'all know what it is in today's boxing. Yeah, man, he ain't got but. He said Deontay Wilder, late night fun. And great vibes to a song he wrote in the making. Yeah, oh, that was seven months ago. Let's show y'all that. This my first time coming here. Hey, <laughs> y'all see Jabba the Hut right there? He talking about some cookies. He talking about some cookies. Man, boy, hey, boy, boy, hold on, hold on. You see Jabba the Hut right there? He in the first comment talking about some cooking. This guy right here say great song. Can't wait for your next fight. Do a ball squad. To this day. He doesn't say Deont Deontay got skills. I like this. Okay, y'all say he got skills, huh? To believe in Google, <laughs> go Google that shit. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> okay, so that's so that so let's go back and look at the comments. Let's look at that. Y'all heard the music. Now let's look at the comments and see. And let's see. Do the comments add up with what you just heard? Let's look at the comments, right? Now y'all see Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt, the first one left for anybody don't know who Jabba the Hutt is. That's Seven Day Sports TV. Seven Day Sports TV is nickname is Jabba the Hutt. That's his nickname. Now y'all see Jabba the Hutt right here. Jabba the Hutt say cookie. <laughs> he said this shit was hot fire. As Bubba Dog would say, trash. <laughs> hey, what he say? This dude here say bomb squad. Okay, this brother right here say great song. Can't wait for your next fight. 
This here say bomb, bomb squad. This brother here say Deontay got skills. This dude here say Wilder makes good beat music. Okay. Uh, this dude here laughing. <laughs> He, this dude right here say, I'm feeling this. He feeling this. Okay, he feeling it. R&B and rhythm and boxing. Okay, okay. This dude say, good song. <laughs> this dude say, this is jamming. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. He said, another dope track. This He said, this one has almost too much bass, but I immediately started nodding my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Chase. All right, so what we got to do now, <laughs> we got to do that. What we got to do now, hey, Skulo, this is what we got to do. Well, what we got to do now, listen, we got to get some of these fighters back in the, in the studio, drop some chat tracks, so you know what I mean? Damn, but he ain't got but 20, listen, he don't have but 21,000 subscribers on, on Twitter, on, 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 on YouTube, man. We got to listen, you know what we got to do? We gotta help. We gotta help Wilder get his subscriber count up. Oh, listen. All I, I thought it, all them dudes. That's with the Alphabet Boys. Shit, did he ain't got but twenty one thousand subscribers. I mean, shit. I mean, he got a. You get what I'm saying? What he say? He said. He said. He said. He said. What you say? They got their knee pads on, Coach. Hey, Skulo. I'm just saying, like, you know, we 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 hear, we hear about all these fans. We hear about all these fans. You know, shit. How come? How come they ain't? Why they not, um, why they not, why he ain't got between 21,000? Why he ain't got between 21,000 on YouTube? That's what I want to know. Hold on. I'm going to let y'all see this because I don't want nobody taking them cap. 21,000. Right here on YouTube. 21,000. Y'all see the Bond Squad. Y'all see that mask that was made by Denalo and Crowley, our two, our, you know, our, 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 our good brothers, our brothers and sisters from the LGBT community. Our brothers and sisters from the LGBT community. Okay. All right, there you go, there you go, all right, y'all see him. All right, okay, all right, yeah, man. See why they're doing this thing? See him right there with the white man, JD's. The white man right there. Oh, he in the studio again? But love is a drug. Love. Both bitter and sweet. That's right. A delicate balance. Delicate balance. They dance to compete. That's right. In moderation, in magic and shine. Yeah. But beware of the overdose, for it's love fine line. I couldn't escape, I couldn't let go Yay. This overdose of love, it consumed my soul hey. It consumed my soul Well, I like this, isn't it? It consumed my soul In the haze of a passion, yeah. I lose myself completely Blinded by... Hey, y'all see that screen he got? I got that same monitor. I showed y'all what I had. I got the same monitor. I know if I couldn't see clearly hey. In the depth of a heart Story on hey. Tell her love. Hey. Tell her hey. 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 Hey.
I take a round of applause, man. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Wilder star if he wanted to. Hey, <laughs> some hate you like oh, some over there hate you. She over there hate you. <laughs> hey, she know it's fine. Hey, she know dog go well. Did I take while to go on tour? He go on tour. Let's say he let's say he go on tour with Beyonce or somebody. He go on tour with Beyonce or somebody. You know, he the opening act. She know dog go well. She gonna be right there. <laughs> Beyonce! Hey, shout out to us, get some more sponsors. Nigga, Deontay gonna be on stage, all a hundred dips. Hey, she said, Coach, we gonna excuse you today for this nonsense. All a hundred dips on stage. Deontay! Throw the panties on this day. Hey, y'all know he sound like, he sound like, no, he Maxwell. He, he, look, he sound like a little bit of Maxwell mixed with a little bit of Trey songs. You get what I'm saying? And it's, you know, Maxwell mixed with a little bit of Trey songs. That, that, that's what I'm getting from this from this song. True, true, yeah. true. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying on the low. Not on the high, but on the low. Maxwell mixed with a little bit of Trey songs with a, with a sprinkle with a sprinkle of R. Kelly. You know, Maxwell mixed with a little bit of Trey songs with a little bit of R. Kelly sprinkled on top. True, true, true. <laughs> hey, George Frederick said, I read it strong, Coach. Hey, <laughs> Motherfucker Jabba the Hutt don't carry me that one. Told him so, yeah, man, yeah, this, yeah, this song fine. Man, this shit trash. To this day. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, hold on, we got, hold on, hold on. Where Carissa Seals at? Where Carissa Seals at? They not, not, they ain't gonna lie. Carissa Seals went in, though. Where, where, where the quote at? Where the quote? Where the quote at, man? Nigga, the quote, nigga, the motherfucking quote went, nigga, the quote went in. Now, what y'all talking about, shit? Nigga, the motherfucking quote. The quote. The quote went in. Yeah, man. See, what a what a quote at, man. Motherfucker, the quote, nigga ain't. See, she went playing. Nigga, the quote. Let's see, Carissa shit. What a quote at? All these bosses, all these bosses making music. She shot a video and everything. Okay, where she at? What a quote at? Oh, there it go right there. There it, there it go. Hold on. This is this it right here? Yeah, I think this it right here. Okay. At least you come harder. You reap hey. what you sow. Nothing but a bum garden hater. hater. Even on your best day, you couldn't hurt me. What I look like hey. cutting 30 for a bitch that dropped dirty, nigga. <laughs> yeah, go. Trying to come for me. At least you come harder. You reap what you sow. Nothing okay. but a bum garden hater. hater. Even on your best day, you couldn't hurt me. What I look like cutting 30 for a bitch that dropped dirty, nigga. Ooh, yeah, the ball. Yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Two gold medals was barely seventeen. Yeah, bro. Three times undisputed. I'm on the scene. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Me at SB had everybody seated. Yeah, bro. Thirteen times world champ. They heated. Yeah, bro. Fourteen and zero. My record undefeated. Savannah had a O2, so I had to delete it. Yeah, bro. Think you can take me off of my throne? Okay, okay, y'all see the hot. Okay, okay, y'all see the hot. Look at the quote. Look at the quote. Listen, the quote dropped a hot 16. True, true. Yeah, man. True. See, this is what we need. This is what we need. Hey, I, 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 I like that. I like that. What we, this is what we got to do. We got to get the quote. We got to get Carissa Shields, Deontay Wilder, Danny Garcia, he rapping, Agent Brona, he rapping. Ryan Garcia just dissed Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, and Devin Haney. You get what I'm saying? So what we gonna do? We can get we can get Ryan Garcia, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder, Danny Garcia, and get Alicia uh, get uh Carissa Shields. 
What we gonna do? Get Clarissa Shields, and we gonna make them put them, make them go on tour. True, true, true. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just saying. Now we need. Listen, we need a response back. We need Alicia Baumgartner to come back. She gotta come back. She gotta come back. Devin Haney, you know, I don't know. Devin Haney, I don't know if Devin Haney rap, but he gotta come back. Listen, Devin Haney gotta come back after, you know, if he, he got he gotta beat Ryan Garcia Saturday, but he gotta come back and respond. Do you get what I'm saying? He said, yeah, Tyson Fury just dropped one too, Coach. Tyson Fury dropped one? Oh, I didn't know that. Who he dropped one on? Hey, what I said, the doctor said she's working on it. He said, Anderson is basic. Shout out to Wookie Wookie. What did he say, Fab? He said, no. Nah, Haney voice too soft. <laughs> he said, Haney voice too soft. <laughs> hey, y'all sit there. Hey, I ain't gonna, I, I, I like that song. Yeah, I bro. I ain't gonna, I, you know, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that one there. I like that song. I ain't gonna, I kinda, I kinda, you get what I'm saying? I kinda like that. Yeah, bro. I kinda like that there. I kinda, I, I, I kinda like that. I can't even front. Uh, hold on, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. I don't know what this is. Who is this? Oh, there go Wilder, man. Oh, that's wonderful, man. Oh, okay, I like that deal. Feature Marcellus Wilder. <laughs> oh, hold on, is it is it Wilder and his brother uh, beefing right now? Yeah, somebody just sent me this here, dog. Hold on, hold on. Is it Wilder and his brother beefing right now? Every time. Every time, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're really in the mood, babe. Okay. Let's get in the groove, babe. Okay. So what you got to lose, babe? It's to me and you, babe. To this day. We're really in the mood, babe. Okay. Let's get in the groove, babe. Okay. So what you got to lose, babe? Okay. It's to me and you, babe. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We going on tour. Deontay Wilder, Alicia Baumgart, no, Deontay Wilder, Carissa Shields, Ryan Garcia, AJ Broner. We going on, Danny Garcia, we going on tour. I'm going to hook that up. <laughs> hey, we going to hook that up. Hey, try to do rock He said, damn, bosses are coming, coming with it too. No diddy. Hey, that's it. That's it. That, that's it. That's what we going to do. Hey, Miss Parker, this going to be the first, you know what? This gonna be the first one. This is gonna be the first one. We gonna, you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm I'm promote it. I'm gonna promote it. I'm gonna see can I reach out to the wildest team. Say, look here, man. Let's let bygones be bygones. Look here, I'm the one that can. That I'm the one that can really promote this and get you up there. Like man, like see, watch it. She don't make my dogs off. <laughs> <laughs> we going on tour. <laughs> I'm gonna promote this shit. I'm gonna promote it myself. I'm gonna promote it myself. Who gonna be the opening act? Let's see. Well, Danny Garcia. We might. Danny Garcia kind of trash. So what we gonna do? We just gonna let him open up. Um, who the headliner gonna be? Damn, I don't know, man. Well, Ryan Garcia is the bigger draw, so Ryan Garcia might have to be the headliner. Ryan Garcia probably gonna be the headliner because he the bigger draw out of all of them together. So. Uh, we'll have Ryan Garcia headline it, and let's see who's gonna be the co-main event. Who's gonna be the co-headline? Um, it's gonna be out of it's gonna be out of Wilder. You know, we know what uh, we gonna we gonna have we gonna have the quote the quote the quote gonna co cause she got more energy than Wilder. Wilder look like he making love songs right now. He in love, so we gonna have the quote on there. Cause I I need I need some diss tracks. Um, Carla, what's your name? You calling from? What's up, coach? It's D Block three times. D Block, talk to me, coach. When you put that Deontay Wilder song on, I'll start dancing, man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I never knew the Bronze Bomber could dance. I mean, could sing like that, Coach. That was marvelous, man. That was a little Marvis Day right there, Coach. What you got to say with that? I don't know about Marvin Morris Day, but he kind of he kind of like a cross. He kind of like a cross between Maxwell and Trey Songs with a little bit of with a sprinkle with a little bit of um 
what I said, what I said, uh, sprinkle with a little bit of, I don't know, maybe, I don't want to say Teddy P, I'm going to say Teddy P, but I don't want to, I don't want to do Teddy P like that. Maxwell, a little bit of Trey Song, sprinkle with a little bit of, mix with a little bit of, just a little sprinkle of R. Kelly, not a lot, but just a sprinkle. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 I, I got you, my brother. Hey, I'm going to give it out like this, and I'm going to end it like this. Coach, I think we need to unite all the boxes that sing, like you said, mm -hmm. uh, Clarissa Shield, Deontay Wilder, uh, Ryan King Garcia, and even Danny Garcia, of course. And can't, coach, can't, can't, forget can't forget about AB now. Can't forget about AB. AB no, round two. AB's yeah. AB going to be the producer. Yeah. The producer. He's going to be the producer. He knows what it's all about, coach. And of course, we can't, we cannot forget my brother, Mr. Devin Heaney. He looks like Usher. So, a, a little bit like Usher, coach. Uh, right. He could, like you said, he's soft. So, you know, the women love them soft men uh, at the end of the day. Uh, coach, we could have a telethon, like they say boxing is dying, uh -huh. and we could have a telethon like back in the day. You know, when Michael Jackson and everybody come to the, what was that, Feed the World? Yeah, Feed the World, yeah. That was our, that was our We Are the World movement, yeah. We Are the World. So yeah. we could, you know, we could have all these people. I got I got 20 seconds left, Coach. We could have all these people, and of course, Agent Broner is going to be the choreographer of all this music. Uh, coach, hit the music, please. Thank you so much. This was D-Block again. I want to let everybody know, nothing but respect. And we love Fox. Get ready next Saturday. Because Coach is going to have a hell of a show. D-Block, D-Cam, d c d d Fox is stand up. Shout out, D-Block. And you know what? I think it'll work. I'm going to tell y'all why I think it'll work. You know, Al Heyman, Al Heyman used to be in the music business, right? Al Heyman used to be in the music business. So what we can do, we can get Al, because you know, we, we know they got the 360 contracts over there. At our back end records, they got the 360 contracts over there. So what we can do, we can get Al Heyman to, you know, you know, tap tap into his resources in the music industry and really, 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 really make it happen. You know. Well, you know, I guess I gotta be like everybody else and sing Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh nah, nah, I ain't got no name. You know. Name them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The names need to be they named. Know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Uh, Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? What's going on, coach? It's Rob from New York. Rob from New York. Talk to me, fam. Damn, coach. It's it's crazy uh, just to see that uh, last night, um, as I was going through Twitter, um, a lot of like media, uh, boxing, uh, boxing heads were shaming boxing fans for talking about, uh, um, the UFC 300 as opposed to the, the, the boxing match that was happening. And that was prior to the, to the Anderson, uh, Mary fight coming on. And it just kind of like, backfire into a lot of the people that was kind of shaming people because it, it tells you exactly the reason why boxing is dying. So many people are more interested in the culture war of boxing talking about being fans of boxers because of their swag <laughs> like boxers uh, it, it becoming managers, talking about 60 40 and no, the business is only going to happen if it makes business sense. When you got the UFC that is just killing the sport uh, and boxing itself, shooting in the, shooting itself in the foot because they can't get their shit together. The only thing is that, um, I, and, and I, I've heard uh, Paulie Malinaji uh, say this. I, I know that you're not a big fan of Paulie, but. Yeah, he I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, that made I don't, a lot of sense. yeah, I, I ain't got no, I ain't really got no beef for Paulie. Paulie is who he is. I mean, I have people call me and talk to me and spoke to me who know Paulie, who actually work with him right now, have worked with him in the past, said some things about Paulie. Um, I won't, I won't repeat it. I won't say who it is. So Paulie, Paulie, Paulie is who he is. Yeah. He is who he is, bro. So. But, but he, he pointed something out that made a lot of sense, which is, uh, the UFC, people think about UFC and, and they think about, MMA and and that that is not how it is. It, it, the UFC is just a promotional company. You have Bellator, you have PFL, you have all these other entities, and the reason their branding is so strong is because they have a lot of the fighters, and obviously there's a lot of uh, a lot of promotion that has gone on. But boxing, the issue with boxing is that boxing still operates under an old model. Almost kind of like with mafia gangsters. There's so much corruption in the sport. 
there's so many promotional companies that have their their hands in the pot and on top of that the sanctioning bodies don't tend to um, uh, enforce their own rules but it is it is so that, that, that's my call alright shout out to Rob man from New York Rob from New York man salute to you fam get a round of applause <laughs> yeah man Hey, he said UFC has um has it has an entertaining cards though. Well, you know, boxing has been around for a long, long time. Boxing has been around for a while, man. Like you talking about shit. Over a hundred years, something like that? Over a hundred years. So, I mean, you really can't compare UFC from a being established standpoint to boxing from that standpoint, you know. Um, I'm saying as a sport, it's been around that long. Boxing is a way boxing is a way to to um Boxing is a way to clear up dirty money too. Boxing, the music industry, that's a way to uh, wash your money too. A way to wash money as well. Um, call what's your name? Call Leo Town coach. Uh, Leo A Town, talk to me. Man, Gary Anderson has been the biggest disappointment in America heavyweight history, coach. I got Gary Anderson fans talking about the ref should have told the other guy something. Man, I, I got people saying it's the matchmaker's fault. Why they put him in with that guy? Coach, since when is it the ref's job to solve the puzzle for the fighter? Since when is it the matchmaker's job to give the fighter the easiest fight possible? This was supposed to be a showcase fight where Anderson was supposed to shine, shine bright, where people were going to be, wow, this guy, this guy is the future. Mm -hmm. This guy's more interested in doing photo shoots before the fight on the Hellcats than he is fighting, Coach. I, I don't know why people keep making excuses for these young guys. They, they need to be, I think they need, we need to be more tough with them. And these kids are soft, you know. They, they, don't nobody know how to go get it. Nobody knows how to go get it. They want to come to, to them. I don't know what's going on, coach. I, I just never heard so many excuses for a guy. They, I mean, if it was his first, the second, third fight, I'd be like, okay, the kids on his third fight. Y'all guys are talking crazy. But, man, people people have been talking about this guy already for three, four, five years and, and still nothing, Coach. I mean, I don't know what, what, what you got to say about it. Are, aren't you disappointed, Coach? I didn't see the fight. To, I didn't see any of the fights yesterday because I was out with the family. Um, but I've been hearing a lot what people have been saying. Um, the thing is, is, you know, um, the, the caller before, Rob said that a lot of the boxing – uh, pundits and professionals or whatever was was talking bad about the boxing fans because they were speaking about the UFC and I think this is this is what this is the problem they don't understand entertainment sports entertainment right we know that the sport of boxing is a business but the business is nothing without the sport it's, the sport generates the business so fans are going to go watch what's entertaining to them you get what I'm saying? And if and, 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 and if a certain comeback sport th that particular night is more entertaining because fans watch sports for what? To be entertained. Whether it's baseball, football, boxing, UFC, whatever. They watch sports to be entertained. When you go to the movies, you go to the movies to be entertained. When you play games on your phone, you play games to be entertained. When you go to a podcast, you go there to enjoy yourself. It's your form of entertainment. So <clears throat> when you lack the entertainment, the entertainment aspect creates the engagement and if they're showing up to be entertained you know the more you can hold their hold their attention the more they will engage and i think that you know all the sports especially boxing needs to understand that that's all i'm saying oh coach the ufc that's a good example but that entertainment is uh applied by pressure at times by by the president dana white he's gonna put you on a uh, you're not going to struggle if you're a star against a nobody. You're going to be on a top 10, top 15, top 5 fight. You're going to fight somebody that you're supposed to struggle with. Now, they're not going to sit there and uh, and uh, just settle for you to be holding and grabbing and not, not forcing any action. You'll get away with that one time. But after that, they're going to put you on the free lens where you're not making no money. Mm -hmm. So it forces the stars to engage and actually try to fight the fight. You know? So, so it's a... Uh, it, they got the entertainment value down, but they also got the competition level down because they, the guys know 
once you get into the rank system, once you make the top five, uh, top 10, top 15 in the UFC, you're not going to have easy fights and you're going to expect to perform. And if you don't perform, you're going to drop off the rankings and you ain't making no money. These guys are making money fighting nobodies and still complaining, coach. That's the problem. Like, they're, they're getting good pay because they're all, they're all getting paid more than the UFC fighters and, and they're struggling with nobody. So, all right, all man. Right, All right, Rashad Leo, man. H-Town, stand up, man. H-Town, stand up. Yes, sir. Give a round of applause. <laughs> um, UFC and boxing is just two different business models. You get what I'm saying? So it's just two different business models. Um, people always want to see comeback, even back to even way back into the the gladiator days. That's comeback sports is not going anywhere. That's just the reality of the situation. Uh, when you when you compare UFC to boxing, it's like comparing apples and oranges. One one um one one sport is a cricket is a, is a cricket uh, sport. Cricket is a three dollar bill. Boxing is is the biggest. Boxing is probably one of the biggest crickeries. Um, in sports, one of them, you know, we know the mafia controlled it, and now uh, the businessmen control boxing, so it's damn near the same thing as the mafia. So you get what I'm saying? So, but um, UFC is this different? Like I don't, I see people talk about boxing versus UFC, and to me, it's like comparing baseball to football. Baseball, you can't compare baseball to football. It's just two different. Well, it's just two different. It, it, there's no comparison. Two different sports. You know, um, UFC. Even though, even though um, UFC and um, and boxing, there's no comparison. You get what I'm saying? But I gotta show y'all this here, though, buddy. I'm sitting there grinding this, sitting there grinding this here, that that boy. Let y'all see that 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 man. Boy, you see that 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 boy. Boy, I said you see that 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 boy. I said you see that 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 boy. That 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 boy. Boy, you see that that I'm trying to tell you, boy. You already know, boy. You already know. You see this smile. When you see this smile on my face. You already know what time it is, boy. True, true, true. Yeah, man. When it comes to boxing, we got it all locked. With, 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 with your host, Coach Malachi Williams at True Media Boxing Radio. True, true, true. Oh, call it, what's your name? Where you calling from? Big Bird, call it from Little Rock. Big Bird from Little Rock. I just want to say, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm so glad that uh, the uh, turkey uh, from... Uh, Chief, uh, whatever soldier uh, from uh, over there in Arabia is going to pay Sarah Squaw for that money so he can go ahead and get on. Who said that? That's all I got to say. Peace out. All right, salute, fam. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what did say? He said, yeah, shout out to Little Rock. Uh, what's out to Little Rock? He said, he said, people are acting like we didn't have the best year in Boston last year. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, this, you know, and this, and this is the thing, though, know, Stephen. Like with me, right? Like I said, I, 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 again, I don't, I took all the emotion out of it. I'm not emotionally invested in boxing like that or whatever, or anything. You know what I mean? Uh, whatever. So, um, a lot of people are still emotional about it. They're emotional about the sport, this and that. You're gonna have some people they like some things and some things they don't like. You got some people they just they just like to complain about stuff, and that's fine. I'm totally fine with anything anything that goes. Um, I didn't get a chance to see the fights last night, so I don't know whether you know I didn't I didn't get a chance to witness it myself. So you know I'm hearing, but I've been hearing just watching you know watching a lot on, on social media, just reading a lot of stuff on Twitter and stuff like that. What people have been saying. I've been I've been on the boxing scene looking at. Uh, you know, I think that's, you know, Boston scene looking at an article that they wrote. So, you know, um, some of the other websites as well. I got to I got to actually go back and look at the fight. But um, someone hit me up. I was like, man, listen, you ain't you ain't want to see that shit like that shit is, you know, it really wasn't a good fight. So, I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes you have that. You have that. Brady 12. So I'm finna roll. I'm finna roll now. Roll, roll one up now. coach. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. 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 Let's give everybody in the chat a round of applause. Yeah, man, absolutely, absolutely, man. Like right now, man, I'm finna shit. I'm finna shit. I'm finna. I'm finna get right. Like I, again, I told you guys, I'm not emotionally invested in the sport anymore. I'm done. You know, uh, I'm I'm done from an emotional standpoint. That's why you ain't gonna see me arguing. You know, you 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 know. Do you know when you take the emotion out of it, and you don't get you don't get caught up in the emotions. You 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 don't, you don't get emotionally charged 
by what people say about certain fighters. I mean, I really don't care. The fighters can fight who they want to fight, as far as I'm concerned. This era, the guys have told me that boxing, that legacy don't matter, belts don't matter. Um, you know, Floyd Mayweather laid the blueprint, say, hey, look, belts don't matter. Um, you know, I can't pay my bills with belts. And when I get old, this and that, it, it, it's about the money. So since it's about the money, I'm all for every fighter. Because the, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to let these fans keep, keep being on the fence. When it's a fighter that they don't like, oh, he need to do A, B, C, and D. When it's a fighter that they do like, he don't need to do A, B, C, and D. So this is what's going on in the sport. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it real easy for everybody. Um, every fighter can do what they want to do. You can fight as many tomato cans as you want to. You can fight uh, whoever you want to fight. Um, you can fight as many tough fights as you want to. You don't have to move and jump because the fans in boxing say they want to see this and want to see that. They Guess what? Them same fans that's complaining, they don't have that same energy for their favorite fighter. So since they don't have that same energy for their favorite fighter, I'm not going to go to war about it. I really don't care. Every fighter can do what they want to do. Someone get, hit me up, say, oh, man, what's the name? Canelo ain't fighting such and such. You heard what he said. I'm like, I don't care what Canelo said. If he don't want to fight him, he don't have to fight him. He can do what he want to do. I, I don't care. Every fighter can do what they want to do. Because from, since I've been on YouTube, what these boxing fans have shown me, they shown me the ability to pick and choose when they want to have selective outrage. And then you have the sanctioning bodies. The sanctioning bodies discredit their own belts. So since I'm not getting caught up in that, not getting caught up in that. Let everybody, let everybody do what they want to do. If y'all ain't going to keep the same rule for everybody, let everybody do what they want to do. That's all, that's all I care about. I, I really don't give a damn. No I, I don't. Let them do what they want to do. If your fighter, if your fighter ain't got to fight, uh, fight the top guys, then I don't, then the other guy ain't got to fight the top guys. That's how I see. Serious as that. Again. And again, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. Shout out to Nate. Nate, what's going on, sis? Dr. Paul Evans in the building. Jason Phillips. Uh, shout out to School of X, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I really don't. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's, that's how I honestly feel. I honestly feel that way. Hey, man, look, man, if that's what they want to do, man, so be it, man. I don't, I don't, coach don't give a damn. Let them, let, them, let, them, let them do them, man. Let them do them. Let them do what they want to do. Let everybody do what they want to do. Because I'm telling you, bro, I've been doing this long enough to know they don't keep that same energy for every fighter. When it's a certain fighter they like, he ain't got to do this. It don't matter who he fought. At least he's knocking them out. When it's a fighter that you do, when it's, when, when that's, that's when it's a fighter that you do like. When it's a fighter that you don't like, oh, man, he ain't fighting nobody. Yeah, he got all the belts, but he need to do more. He got to fight this guy, that guy. Yeah, but you're not requiring the other guy to do the same thing. Oh, but that different. He ain't got to fight nobody because he's that guy. So this is what I'm hearing. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I see, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I tell you what, Coach, Coach Fennel. Coach Fennel, I ain't, man, I ain't, man, I ain't, let's see, see, this is what I'm not going to do. And you guys know me. And you all, listen, you already, you already know where I'm going at. This is, this, this, this is what I'm not going to do. So I know what these dudes want to do, right? This, this is what I'm not going to do. Where, where, where my man at? Where my main man at? Where he at? I can't find him. I can't find him. Y'all better be lucky I can't find him, bro. See, these dudes, these dudes want to. They want to argue. Coach ain't, coach ain't doing no argue. You want to argue. I can't argue with you. You mad. Look at you. You mad. I don't get paid to argue with you. Who is you? You ain't nobody. Nope, I ain't finna get paid. Nigga, I don't get paid to argue with you. Let every fighter do what they want to do. I don't give a fuck who do what. I don't, I don't care who it is. I don't care. You get what I'm saying? I'm not coming with no fake outrage. I see how the promotional company's moving. I see how the boxing fans moving. I see how the sanctioning body's moving. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what it is. I see what's going on. All right, cool. I don't accept it. I don't accept it. You get what I'm saying? So now I don't accept it for what it is. He said, he said, he said, that man said, argue. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm telling you right now, Wookie Wookie, I'm dead serious. I don't accept it. 
He said, shout out to Jamie. Shout out to Jamie from New York. When they did that, when they did that, when they told me, when the Boston fans came on my show and told me that belts don't matter and what's the name, a certified in the lightweight division, oh, man, belts don't matter. You can't feed your kids with belts. And oh, my fighter is a star. My fighter is a bigger draw than your old fighter. And he don't need no belts. And then you saying that in one breath, but you telling another fighter in another division who got who got all the belts, yeah, he need to do such and such. And he that's what he need to do. And he this gonna mess his legacy up. One minute you argue, legacy don't mean nothing when it comes to your fighter and belts don't mean nothing. Then when it comes to a nigga that you don't that you don't like, oh his legacy, his legacy gonna be messed up. Why could you say so? Why could you say so? Nah. Nah. I tell you what, let everybody do what they want to do. I don't give a damn. My part of the A side, yeah, okay, your part of the A side. Whatever, whatever you want to say, sir. I'll, I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all deal with the A side, B side politics. I'll let y'all deal with the L. I'll let y'all deal with the A side politics. I don't care now about none of that. I'm finna smoke some of this green. Let these niggas sit and argue about the A side politics. Coach, what you think about such and such? He ain't going to fight. What's the name? What you think about that? Nothing. He can do what he want to do. He don't have to fight him. He can do what he want to do. You still going you, you still gonna to watch him? He can do what he want to do. You get what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. That's why I'm mad with it. He said, he said, he said, that's BS from Boston fans. You don't hear, uh, hear that it's from the UFC. Well, that's what I'm saying. The UFC fans are different. UFC fans are different, right? And again, it's just a different sport. Boxing is, boxing is where it's at today. It, it is what it is. Like, what, you, know, you know what I don't like about the sport? And I don't really care anymore. But people who are doing legacy stuff, fighting for belts, becoming undisputed, they get disrespected. And they get, oh man, you got to do more. You got to do more. You got to do more. And the people who not even doing that haven't even done a tenth of what the guy who's fighting for the belts, fighting better competition, um, doing what is doing what you're supposed to do. That guy get all the praise. You saw what he did to Pooch out, Willie. He get all the praise. I'm like, oh, this what's going on? Oh, okay, all right, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, 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 this, oh, this what y'all doing now? Oh, this what y'all doing now? Oh, this what it is. Oh, drop the added for this guy? Oh, you got shooters for this guy? Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I get it, I get it, I get it. I see what it is. He said, only support legacy fighters. The rest is whatever. Well, you know, the old school, like, uh, the old school guys, people who, people who come from that era was going to respect legacy and belts. A new school guy don't care about legacy and belts. But it depends on who the fighter is. If it's a fighter that they don't like, they want him to do A, B, C, and D. He got to fight all the killers. When it's a fighter that they do like, they put him in the witness protection program. So, it is what it is, man. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what they're doing. They give them, they put them in the witness protection program, and they will argue you up and down. They got, they got different rules for different fighters. Uh, let's give a shout out, shout out to Tay Hill. They have different rules for different fighters, fam. Shout out to Tay Hill, man. Shout out to Tay Hill. Hey, okay. Dropping that half a dub. He said that boy good. Yeah, good and terrible. <laughs> he talking about Wilder. He talking about Wilder. Hey, Leroy. Super he talking about Wilder. Received. Playtime's over, boy. Boy. Yeah, man. I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So I'm, I'm not tripping. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel so much better. I feel so much better now that that. Now that I've adjusted and adapted how I, how things go in boxing today, I feel so much better. Like you know, it's not it's not a big deal. I don't give a fuck who anybody fights. I don't care. I can choose to watch it when I want to watch it. Choose to watch it if I don't want to watch it. If it's on pay per view and I feel that shit ain't worth my money, I just ain't gonna buy it. As you guys know, I did not buy the, the last pay per view fight. I didn't buy that shit. I didn't buy it for what? It wasn't on need. I told you guys I wasn't gonna buy it and I didn't buy it. You get what I'm saying? If it's a pay-per-view that I deem worthy of my dollars, I'm going to buy it. 
If it's a pay per view that I deem that's not worth my dollars, I'm not gonna buy it. Simple as that. I'm not gonna get emotionally invested about this shit no more. I'm, I'm done. I don't check out of this box of shit from an emotional standpoint. I am done. True, true, true. I'm tired. I'm tired of arguing and fight with these niggas about this shit. Well, you know, I guess I gotta be like everybody else and sing Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Look at that. Everybody, everybody talking about the UFC 300. Ain't that something? Everybody talking about the UFC 300. And then you got these guys in Boston mad. Oh, why y'all can't talk about that? Why y'all talk about that? Because, you know, it is what it is. I mean, shit, you know, people, people like being entertained. At the end of the day, this is sports entertainment. Sports entertainment. Boxing is sports entertainment. People like to see entertaining fights. Fighters who don't get that. You know, they, they say fighters, people like to see knockouts. You got fighters who are giving you knockouts. Hell, I know fighters that's giving you knockouts. And they get defecated on by the fans. He still ain't, oh, he still got to do that. He, it's about getting knockouts. Okay, that guy doing that. Yeah, but, but. <laughs> Boxing is the only sport I know. It goes out of its way to destroy itself. Only sport I know. It goes out of its way to destroy itself. It, uh, it, bro, I'm talking, you know, and then you, you got, you get what I'm saying? I'm not, man. Shit, I ain't getting caught up in that shit, man, with these motherfuckers. So called fan. The guy got me some good green right here. I got some good green right here. That's that's what I'm focused on. This goddamn weed. He said if they he said if they want to talk UFC three hundred, that's on them. I didn't watch it, so I won't participate. Yeah, I mean it's simple as that. Yeah, you know, I mean, people watch what they want to watch. Simple as that. Uh, let's give a shout out to everyone who gave a cash out. I mean gave a super chat. Uh where we at? Where we at? Shout out to shout out to our new country. Hey, okay. Shout out to the real Mr. Shout out to the, uh, the real McCoy. Hey. Okay. Shout out to Deal 87. Okay. James Bash. Okay. Raymond Moore. Okay. And Henry Brown. Okay. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> uh, we, we, well, I'm, I'm probably going to go outside and do a live outside. Uh, shout out to Tony from Chicago. Okay. These are the phone calls. Shout out to El, shout out to El from Kansas City. Okay. Claymore Rain. Okay. Shout out to um, Julio Vegas. Aye. D Block Dallas three times. Aye, okay. Rob from New York. Aye, okay. Leo from A Sound. Okay. Big Bird from Little Rock. Aye, okay. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> and shout out to the and shout out to the Most High. Shout out to the Most High, the Most Exalted, the greatest human being that ever stepped on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Well, you know, I guess I gotta be like everybody else. And Thing, Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The <laughs> names need to be named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. <laughs> Um, it is what it is, man. Shout out, salute to everybody, man. He said, Coach, here in Vegas, that's what everyone was talking about, the UFC 300. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, a lot of people talking about the UFC 300. I mean, it is, you know, be, be, because it probably was really, really good. As I said before, people, you know, people, you know, people going to do, you know, uh, he said one promoting the UFC means, means on boxing. I mean, yeah, but that's what I say. Like, you can't compare UFC to boxing. Boxing is an unregulated sport. Um, it's the Wild Wild West. Sation the bodies get bought off, fighter, you know, you know what I mean? Like boxing is just so different. It's still mafia controlled, but it's controlled by the corporations now. So um it still had the same business model. Um and in today's time it, it is what it is. So um it is what it is. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um boxing is in a good place. I'm not I'm not complaining about the sport. It's in a good place. It is what it is. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy the sport for what it is today in 2024. Outside of that, man, that's it. Now, I am the number one contender. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he wanted to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town in eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. Yes, sir, it is what it is, man. Uh, shout out to the Shot Town. Who you think he is? DJ Quick? No, huh? No, King Capri? I didn't say huh? that. Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. Well, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing, you don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you. This say you 
do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut the fuck. Don't say nothing. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. I just so. want money. You know, I just said. Blue, if I raise up, gonna be trouble. Trouble. I'm walking off. Yes, sir, it is what it is, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Y'all know what time it is. Come fucking with me. You gonna get knocked the fuck out. I'm gonna knock out all this, baby. The can man, anybody can get it. But you could call me the can man, cause anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. Y'all know what time of T.I. is? Hey, hey, who was you, pimp? Hey, what the hey, fuck? What, what the get your motherfucker. Hey, hey, that nigga squeezing me. Hey, get that freak hey, ass nigga up out of here. You ain't hear my bro. nigga say what back the, the fuck, fuck up, dude? <laughs> yes, sir. Yep, that's right. I'm running things. I'm running things. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Smooth. I got more measure for your pleasure. Stick with me, baby. I'll have you farting through silk. <laughs> and let a nigga mess with me. I'll jump on him. All 93 pounds of pure dynamite. Hey man, shout out to Sabrina Lee. Hey, okay. Shout out to the lovely Miss Connie. Hey, okay. Summer in November. Hey, okay. Shout out to Food Revolution. Hey, okay. Shout out to La Jessica. Hey, okay. Shout out to Pauline. Hey, okay. Dr. Paul Evans. Hey, okay. Daniel Agnew. Hey, okay. Set to Wumble. Hey, okay. Shout out to JC. Hey, okay. Shout out to Keith Bulldogs. Hey, okay. Shout out to Ville. Uh, Jamie from New York. Shout out to School of X Men. Hey, okay. Shout out to Yarmus from Brooklyn. Hey, okay. G Five from the Bronx. Hey, okay. Shout out to AJ. Hey, okay. Sh shout out to Jason Follow of Christ. Hey, okay. Salute to Daniel Agnew. Hey, okay. Shout out to Hitman Forty Two. Hey, okay. School of X Men. Hey, okay. Shout out to Preacher Joe. Hey, okay. Big Bird. Hey, okay. Who else we have in the building? Shout out to Wookie Wook. Hey, okay. Who else we have here, man? I'm um, looking like I'm saying the same names. Shout out to Miss Parker. Hey, okay. Sabrina Lee. Hey, okay. Shout out to Stephen Forty Seven. Hey, okay. Shout out to Superman. Hey, okay. Jason Phillips. Hey, okay. No fucks given. Hey, okay. Who is sports and boxing? Hey, okay. It is what it is, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shout out to La Jessica. Hey, okay. Yes, sir. Y'all know what time it T.I. is, man. Um, you know, tomorrow we got a good show coming on tomorrow, man. I'm gonna have Bernie the Boxer with be on the show. I think I think he's going to show up tomorrow. Bernard the Boxer will be on the show, and we're going to talk about Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. So um, um, you guys want to look out for that, for the work on that show right now. I got the Bill interview dropping, Bill Haney interview dropping as well. Finna get ready to drop that. So I see you guys tomorrow. You know what? No, we'll probably go outside and do a short. Well, it depends on what I got. I got a lot of shit I have to do. So um, y'all might go outside. We might do a short. So y'all just give me a minute. If you don't see me, if you don't see me in the next thirty minutes. Then um, y'all know what it is. I see y'all tomorrow. You know my motto: Don't meet me there, beat me there, peace. But we got to go out like this here, Patrice Russian style first. Hey man, y'all know what it is, man. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one, man. You know my shout out to everybody else in the chat that I may have forgotten. Shout out to La Jessica, RJ, Dr. Paul Evans. Um, I think I got everybody. Superman. Yeah, these are some of the same names I'm seeing. I see you guys tomorrow, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'll probably see you guys later on. Give me about an hour. You know my motto, don't meet me there, beat me there. Peace. Also, man, um, as I said before, just enjoy the sport. Don't get mad. You know, just take the emotions out of it. Just enjoy it, man, and let everybody else have that shit. Ain't nothing we can do about it anyways. It is what it is. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go.